Hello? Are right, back? I think we're good. Okay. Hello. Uh, so basically what happened is... Uh... Okay, that looks good. Uh, so basically what happened is uh, well, I turned off my computer, then turned it back on again, and then I realized my keyboard wasn't working. I was trying to log in, so I kind of put that in a different USB port. It seems to be working again. And then I realized I uh, hadn't updated um, Streamlabs, so uh, I uh, t t took time to do that. So maybe that's probably what was causing the issue, or at least I hope it was. That would be a nice solution to that. Let's see. Okay, so that's that. Okay. Look at stuff freezing. And that freezes. Oh. Okay. Selecting this doesn't have anything to do with it, so what the... Gameplay... And go back here, raises again. Jesus. Okay. Wait, now I know what I want to see what I can see. Is there like a... Uh, no, there's like a no... Well, at least I can... You can... That's what I'm saying, a little bit. That at least. Uh, okay. Of course, you can't see this because we're getting frozen. Okay. Uh, just getting rid of the background, change anything. Wait. No, no, it doesn't. Okay. Okay, let's... Okay, I'm looking up how to force, like... Yeah, freeze this again. Yeah. Uh... How to... Force... Window... Mode... Yeah, alt enter. Yeah, that's. Oh, alt enter. I don't think I tried that actually. Oh my god, there we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, what does that look like? Um... Okay, let's have to. Play. 
I don't know if that's actually going to change anything, but it's worth a shot. Oh, it's okay. If it's in windowed mode on my screen, then it works. Okay. Let me just, uh, can I like drag this a bit? No. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I just want it to work. Actually on my end, I might, uh, make this a bit bigger. Can I center this? Properties. Turn screen. There we go. Back there. Okay. Now we can play Dang and Rampa. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Mean difficulty. Start game. Thinking about it, let's get the Damon life being a nihilist or whatever. Purpose, he's so special. Ultimates are cool people, they're like doctors and whatever. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good, that sounds better. Actually, hold on, I wanna make. Oh, is, uh... oh crap. Uh, the desktop audio muted, muted this whole time. Didn't even realize. I gotta turn that too. Pretty quiet. Okay, this... We're learning, we're learning, we're learning, we're learning. Uh, you're the ultimate debater, yes. Among who can't be yeah, I think very highly of himself. I hold on to my title dearly. Because it defines me. It's who I am. It's what gives me my purpose. That's good, I guess. Doesn't really seem to have high opinions of others, so. There's a school worthy of me. To Mr. Damon Matsu, the ultimate debater. Congratulations, you're really epic and cool, and you can come to this really awesome school. I want to see the presentation. Okay, I think this is new stuff. In an age where anyone can be called ultimate, we hope you will. Well, if anyone can become ultimate, looks like the, whatever. Uh, we hope you will join us and assume your rightful place as a true face of talent. I'll say if like if anyone can, I'm sure that's not what they meant, but like if everyone is ultimate, then no one will be, you know. Oh well. Let's get constant orientation as well as the attached registration materials, strictly confidential. The degree of our programs built on foundation of privacy. That's good. Ah, oh, here we are. Eden's Garden Academy. I'm gonna. I guess for, I guess I have to figure out what voices to do for everyone, I guess, well, I guess, normally when I, uh, like, uh, like, voice, like, protagonists, in my head I usually just kind of give them, like, my regular speaking voice since I'm gonna have to speak as them a lot, but, uh, I guess for Damon I'll, like, speak in my normal voice, but, like, slightly deeper. I, I think that sounds kind of similar. Eden's Garden Academy, a tr ultimate academy for true ultimates. It was built in partnership with the Ultimate Talent Program, a government institution that has awarded ultimate titles to people for almost the last century. That's a long time. You don't apply for the UT UTP UTPs, Ultimate Talent Plan, schools. They scout their students, which is how I found myself receiving a letter from Eden's Garden Academy. It looks to be an amazing school. Immaculate architecture, incredible workspaces, and access to resources beyond anything I've ever seen. I kind of revert just to my normal voice because it's just like slightly different where I like feel like I can kind of do it subconsciously but I kind of have to focus so I don't know. Let's see how it goes. <clears throat> Everything about the school is perfect. It's truly worthy of being in, called ultimates. In my 18 years of living, I have accomplished more than most people could ever even dream of. Within this random and chaotic existence, it feels like I was destined to be great. Really. There he is. After what seemed like hours of waiting, the train arrived before me. Ooh. See the train pulling up now? Wasn't as nice look- What do you mean it wasn't as nice 
at least not a school of this caliber, eh? Caliber. That was undeniably the one. Okay, because judging the train, whatever, dude. Luggage in one hand and a pamphlet in the other. I boarded the train. Alright. This is the start of my new life. The start of an even greater career. For the first time in my life, I'll finally be among people as great as me. Alright. Huh? Huh? What? Oh, it's just... Oh, uh, nice. We got the... <laughs> the, uh... Classic Danganronpa pan across the room towards everyone else. I like that. <laughs> Very in tune. The right side is a lot more popular than the left side, I've noticed. Look at that. Like, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six people on that side, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there's... Oh, God, look at... Oh, what's... I forgot. What's her name? Cassidy, the pro gamer, like, her face is just like, eh? Yeah, like, the... What was I saying? Oh, yeah, the... Yeah, there's a lot more people on the right side. Like, the right side is, like, the friend group where, like, everyone, like, kind of knows each other well, so it's kind of, like, people just normally meet up, and then everyone else is outcast. Yeah, it looks like that. Anyway, uh, who's talking? Huh? Someone else? Okay, don't know who these refer to, I... Welcome to the Eden's Club. Is that, uh... Pete and Gred, maybe? Well, it's more accurate to say Eden's Garden Academy's Club, but Eden's Club just has more of a ring to it, don't you think? Maybe that's Cassie. I don't know. I'll find out. In front of me, spread across the train carriage, is a group of strange-looking people. Girl with pink hair. Some guy in a wolf costume. A guy in a weird beanie staring intensely at me. Oh, uh, that is a Mark. Where's Mark? Oh, there he is, in the back. I think it's an alligator beanie. What the hell? These creepy people are really attending the same academy as me? Uh, whatever, dude. Just... Apathetic to my situation, the train continued from its halts. You don't sound apathetic. Look like I'm stuck here for now. Guess I have to find somewhere to sit. Hey, you! New guy! Well? Who's this? Hello? Can you hear me? Ah, oh, this is Kai. Uh, I remember this guy- the only reason I remember this guy's name is because I had to- I, uh, did a submission for him in, uh, Garden of Gifts. Didn't get accepted, but yeah, I remember this dude. What's your deal? Seen the caught intention of one of the other passengers. This is like ultimate, like, influencer, right? Wow, great. Why do you want? Oh, cool. so, uh, I was wondering something. Whatever it is, I'm sure you can ask an employee. I'm honestly not in the mood. <laughs> Friendly, dude. <laughs> God, I'm honestly... Okay, like... Then... It's kind of... Okay, like, it's not uncommon for, like, characters to be, like, rude, obviously, but, like, it's honestly kind of strange to see, like, that's, like, the main character. Like, I don't know. That image strikes me as weird. I don't know, some... Hmm. Oh, that's the song title. Humanity is the best and brightest. Nice. Anyway, sorry, what were you we saying, Kai, before... Sorry, I have to deal with this... Uh... Rude dude. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I hurt his feelings. Browning, dropping his head, he walks away. Aw, okay. Damn it. I didn't even... I didn't even go into this thing I was gonna like Kai, but I feel bad for him. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Howdy! What was who said that? A girl's voice suddenly chimed in from behind me. Jeez, can people just leave me alone for five minutes? They're trying to be friends with you. They're trying to be friendly. Not a clue. But can but can you try looking for? What? What? Oh, it's Ingrid. Nice. Words caught in my throat when I turned to look at her. This woman had to be twice my size. Yeah, she's a big lady. Hmm? Something wrong? I, I... Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Don't fret it, darling. Just seeing who else is around. Yeah, she's trying to be nice, Damon. Unlike you. Like, okay, like, there's... I get, like... Don't trust me. I get, like, want to be left alone. But, like, if people are, like, trying to get to know you, then, like... I don't know. Just give it a shot. Small wave. She walked away. These are... 
I guess these are like brief introductions, I guess. You'll hear King. What do you mean they're getting weird? They're just, they're just trying to say hi, Damon. Jesus Christ. Whatever. I really hope none of them are in my class. Uh, aren't you like whatever? Don't only like I say. I don't know that. I guess. Hmm. Oh well. Uh. Nope. Uh. Not only be. I thought there was gonna be more people. I guess not. Not only be bothering further. I quickly found myself a seat by the window alone. Probably. Yep. All alone by yourself. This place is nothing like I expected. At least the view from the train was nice. Mountains framed by deep blue sky, crystal clear rivers that sparkled like jewels in the sunlight. Couldn't be more radical departure from home. What was that? Scenery continued to pass, time flying by with it. Chatter from the Alexander and train eventually softened, leaving me in the rolling mountains. Until... Yep, someone else stalked him. It's Winona. Don't really know what to think of her, but I guess we'll find out. Near my a woman in a professional attire turned up her nose in the air and started sniffing. Is that? <laughs> After a moment, the expression of her face turned stone cold serious. Why? Her doesn't smell right. Can you smell danger? Oh, it's, uh, what's your name? Grace, 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 Grace the Ace. The Ace Golf Player. Huh? The air? Hey, I smell something too. You do? What's happening? Me. Could you describe it? Uh, what's your name? Ulysses. Ulysses? Ulysses, yes, that's your name. Hmm, hmm kind of chemically? It's almost like it's coming from. What about? A bag over there? Uh, she's pointing to a travel bag at the opposite end of the car. How long is that? Oh, shoot. I mean, that's one right next to me? Uh, Jets, that's your name. Very cool design, dude. Oh, right. I don't smell anything funky. That's probably because of the helmet. Yeah. Uh, Wolfgang, the lawyer. You're, you, my friend, are going to make this game automatically interesting by virtue. Is that your bag? Nope, it was already here when I got on the train. Hmm, that's weird. There's no name tag or anything. I don't inspect the outside of the bag. You've been fiddling with its lock. It's lock on it. Oh, oh got it open. Uh, that wasn't the lock. Whoa, 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 whoa. Eh, are you okay? Yeah, bro, it's all good. I just feel kinda... Oh, guys, like sleeping gas or something? Oh, crap. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's a good voice. Uh, I forgot what your name. It's John or something. Uh, I think... Did he just pass out? Uh, Desmond. That's your name? Mark. Mark. Uh, I think... On the same end of the card, you guy can stare at me from earlier. I'm not feeling so good either. What did you say? Good night. Oh god, oh, it's, yeah, it's sleeping gas. Oh god, we're screwed. What the? People dropping like flies. Oh crap, someone help, get help. Let me try to light the conductor or whatever. Train over the door that connected to the adjacent car. I don't think we're gonna get help. Oh. Oh, it's not opening. Why isn't it opening? I want to try my hand at it. Let me step aside for a sec. Yank that door, but... Nope. I was locked up as tight as prison. Huh? I left to take a piss like an hour ago. Wait, we did? What? So, it's, now it's closed? Uh, let me try something else. The, the big man. <laughs> I don't know. The big man rolled his shoulders and threw himself against the door with all his might. God. Groaned and set back, revealing he hadn't left a mark in the door. What? It did nothing? Ah, uh, it's another boy's phone. A girl, too. Why is everyone passing out? Uh. Shit. Maybe it's a. It's got some bag weight. Huh? Air around me has gone thick with a strange, pungent smell. Oh, God. We're down. Taste it. Feel sting in my eyes. Oh, God. No. Don't. Feel a plea left my left soft my strength trail away with it. The world flickered around me and then Dead. There was nothing. Okay, now here we go. Whoa. It's like the Dangarampa one. Intro. The Dangarampa. And 
There's shame there's no like the Dangan round that but well I guess it's like a Fangan game, so I don't know if they can do that, but uh bear to bear. Huh? What is that humming noise? It sounds almost like an air conditioner. It's an It's an air con why am I so warm? Oh, the gates. I weakly opened my eyes. Above me was a concrete ceiling. Yeah? Concrete ceiling? Yes, Damon. A concrete ceiling. My body's so heavy because of the concrete ceiling. I had to get on my feet, but I couldn't because of the con- Okay, I'm done. I see where I was. Below a concrete ceiling. <laughs> oh, it's Ava. You. It's a girl. Yes, Damon. Could, could it be she's... No, she's still for you. Oh, she's... Okay, don't know where I might jump to that, but... So she's asleep just like I was? Well, I mean, everyone was falling asleep, so, yeah. I'm down to level. I reached out my hand to shake her. Hey, can you hear me? No response. And my face close to hers. I repeated the question. Hey, can you hear me? Why isn't she waking up? Uh... I don't know, I wish I had a stronger dose. Damn, do I actually have to? What do you mean? Oh, wait. Oh, God. He's awake. <laughs> right, snapped open, causing me to jump back. I was just testing you. What? Testing me? To see what you would do. Yeah. Not every day you find a body on the floor. So you were awake the whole time? I woke up before you, yes. Just let me sleep? Well, I don't know, I guess if you're knocked out, there's not much you could have done. Anyways, How long was I up for? Sure. I don't know, I didn't wake up that long ago. When I first came to, I was also startled to see a stranger. You see? Oh, that's a cool sprite. I really like the sprites in this so far. Like, like okay, like, like one of my absolute favorite parts of the Dangarampa series uh, are it's like sprites because like a lot of like graph uh visual novels i played the like the sprites aren't like that varied like th like there's like similar poses or like there's not that many but like in the dangarapa series there's like every character has like kind of like probably like around over 20 poses each like i don't know how accurate that is but like it's quite a bit and they're all like varied and stuff like it just makes it feel like more, a lot more engaging. I don't know. I guess looks like they've like really kept up with that so far. I don't think. Like I don't think I've seen any of the sprites repeat so far from what I've seen anyway. No, no, I have actually. There's, you know what I mean. There's a good variety, good sprites. What I'm trying to say. Anyway, what were you saying, Ava? Which is why I need to see for myself how much I could trust you. Okay. By lying on the floor and making herself vulnerable? Eh, okay. Jesus, she makes no sense. Yeah. I guess that's fair. So it's used to break off in the conversation. I started to look around the room. I was in some kind of boiler room, but there didn't seem to be a light switch anywhere. Then a light came from an event set far back in the room. Where? Oh, in the... I see that. the generator. Looking that close around me, I was standing on a platform of stairs that led down to the rest of the room. Oh, the floor was middly floored. Okay, I don't... Does that make grammatic? Whatever. Let's say the water reached... Water? Wait, there was water on the ground? Probably shouldn't mention that. I we didn't mention that at all. Oh, uh, okay. The place had clearly been abandoned for a long time. Da, da, da. Is that, like, the ellipses going off, or is that, like, a sound effect in the game? With all the strange thing around me, a gaze kept returning to this girl in her mysterious gaze. Looks very mysterious, though. There's something about her that seems almost familiar. Yeah? Really? Wait, that's it. Oh, that's what the thing in. Yes, of course she was on the train with you. Yeah! Did she just. Oh, I guess he doesn't pay attention to people. So I guess. Yeah, I guess he forgot about it. I don't think she spoke either, so. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Hey, we've met before. On that train. You already forgot already, nincompoop? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am a nincompoop. Mm. Turned things upside down not long after you arrived. Things 
Oh, things turned upside down not long after you arrived. Oh, she's gonna blame me. Strange smell started coming from that travel bag and everything turned black. Right, right. So what the hell was that? To me. I think it was a chemical agent. The bag must have been equipped with a gas bomb or something. And clearly, someone clearly wanted to knock us out. Sounds like she's been thinking hard about it. Maybe that's why it took her so long to wake me up. Yeah, I guess that's true. Sure, I was thinking the same. But whose bag was it? Why did they want to knock us out? And why aren't we on the train anymore? Where are we? Look at this. our surroundings. Some sort of boiler room? Yeah, figure that out. She raised a hand to push up her glasses. Something large and metallic on her wrist caught my eye. Ooh. Is that an Apple Watch? Look vaguely like a watch? Yeah, hey, what's that on your hands? You tell me. It appears you have one as well. Huh? Huh? Oh. At these words, I looked down at my hand. What the? Whoa. Sure enough, I was wearing the same device. It fitted tightly around my wrist, but felt like I was wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Hey, I'm not wearing this. Whoa, whoa, that's a good angry fight. Her hair is getting all spiky. The. I think it's the shadow around his eyes got darker. I think that's something that usually happens in the anger around this fights too. I grabbed hold of the device and pulled a tiny surge of electricity ran through my wrist. <clears throat> oh jeez. How humiliating. Oh that's I'm gonna like that line. I always like the general voice lines in Nang Rock games. Like you know those like uh like lines that just play in normal conversations. I always enjoy those. That's a good one. Sorry, I should have warned you. If you try taking off, it shocks you. Thanks for the heads up. Shit, what is going on here? I'm wearing this weird shock color thing. Who put this on me? You can touch the screen though. Oh, eh? See, like this. She tapped the face of the vice. It slowly lit up and displayed a holographic image. Oh, so like a watch. I guess this is our version of uh, monopads. Yeah, monopads. Mm, it is projecting a blank screen for some reason. Either way, it seems we're stuck on this device for the time being. Joyce staring at your fist, Damon. We're standing there, the least you can do is give me your name. You don't have much of a meaning on train, anyway. Uh, Damon Ma Maitsu, the ultimate debater. I'm a student at Eden's Garden Academy. Hmm. How interesting. What is? Thank you for telling me more than I asked. What do you mean? What do you mean, Ava? What do you mean? Which part of it? Which part of that was important? Was it like Eden's Garden Academy? Are you not a student? No, you gotta be. You have like a title and stuff, right? What was this title? Ultimate Debater. What's going on with you? Jesus Christ. As for myself, you may call me Eva Tsunaka. Tsunaka. It's nice to meet you. There it is. And from the shock was finally subsiding. It's good as time as any to get their grass on the room. Is there someone here that can spend the flooding or even better that annoying mechanical noise? Welcome to Project Eden's Garden. Yeah, we're starting the game. Gameplay. So a lot has happened already. I'm sure you're eager to investigate. Oh wait. Is this gonna be like in Dangarampa where like the tutorial or narrator is kind of its own character? Well not its own character, but it has like Personality and stuff, I hope so. But there are some things you should get acquainted with first. To access the trinket, or a so damn, damn so colloquially, but that's the watch. Simply press the F1 key. The view pass dialog, view the F2 key. Oh, like so the log. To access observation mode, press the enter key. Press the enter key again to exit this mode. Oh, and use the WASP keys to pan around the room. If you ever need to visit the room's page, check out the control panel. Just one F3 key away. That's all for now. Go forth and explore. Hell to the yeah. Okay, no music's playing right now. That's fine. Okay. Uh, F1? Alright. Get settings. Oh, nice. The UI with, like, the, uh... Log is like Summer Dang Rock where it shows all the <laughs> uh, faces. I think that's in D3, actually. Uh, save. Oh, probably save. Yes, please. Actually, how many sleep slots are there? Is. Well, 30. I think that's how much Dang Rock has, anyway. Uh. Yeah, 
switch to those of that. It's like all the settings I was saying as before. Alright. Alrighty. Uh, Ava, got anything new to say? Hello. What is it? <clears throat> Nothing. I could talk to you too. These two are gonna be. These two always have their It's gonna be interesting. Well, not people, people. Uh, let's see what else. There's a camera. That. Yeah. It's there gonna be from the corner room with an expensive looking security camera. Has it been recently installed? It seemed better suited for a vault than a crappy boiler room. Yeah. Maybe this building is like. old and like the. It's like refitted for the, the spoiler alert killing game. Interesting. You notice the camera too? Yeah. yeah, it's really out of place. I think. Do you think someone is watching us through it? It looks like it's turned on, so I doubt it. I see. Perhaps that's for the best. What do you mean? If someone is watching us, it's possible they are the same person who put these wrist straps on us. It's important. Yeah. Uh. It's a generator that might be important. Or maybe this is just like the beginning of uh, the R2, where it's just this area is like just supposed to get us to look at stuff. The generator under the vent. This was making the mechanical noise. I mean, probably. Seeing as the, seeing it in the water vent down on edge, I was thinking of checking in the window above it, but now I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, just all the water. Maybe it'll, maybe that's why we can't leave the platform. Anyway, there's some boxes here. No way, I want to check those out, but okay. Might be something useful in a pile of dusty boxes. Oh yeah, there might be something in there, didn't consider that. Light bulbs, duct tape, a bunch of screws. Hmm. Nope, there's nothing here but junk. That's gonna be it. Who wants to draw, run down for me to investigate anything else? Ah, oh, that's a cool sprite. Fingering through, strand of hair. Thinking, like a variety of sprites again. With the corner, I saw Ava approach a pile of boxes and fish out a light bulb. What are you thinking? Then without hesitation, bloop, she chucked it into the water. Oh, 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 I know what she's doing. If it, like, glows, then the water is electrified. Hmm. Hmm. All of a sudden, she jumped off the platform we were standing in and onto the water. What the Seriously, what the hell are you doing? Can't you see? Exploring. Not worried about the generator? Oh. Look at the light bulb and through the water. Notice how it isn't flashing? That means the water isn't conductive. Fair enough. Guess she's not worried about getting her shoes wet either. Yeah. Okay, just give me a second. Duck on my socks and shoes and quickly rolled up my pants. Trying to hide my discomfort behind the cool face, I descended the stairs into the murky water. The ankle noise was even louder now. It's not like it was coming from the direction of the vents. I see. Yep, definitely must be the generator. Damn. Lucky the water isn't conductive. Those folks' wires would be bad news otherwise. Yeah, I'd be stuck here. Such a small generator, it sounds like it's running a lot of power. Surprising how this noise alone wasn't enough to wake us up. Well, yeah, I guess if you're sleeping, but I don't know if that's... the case if you're literally knocked out, I guess. Or knocked us out and the train must have been pretty strong. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Anyway, that explained the whirring noise. I wonder where all this power is going to. Up on the wall is a vent. Yeah, I mentioned the vent a bunch of times, just... May as well get there at this point. What could be on the other side? Wanna look through that? Do you want to look through that? Yeah, I do. Listen Guess so. Alright, I have an idea, but it will take some physical effort. Like what? Well, like getting on my shoulders. Oh, uh, I got boost up. I'm not doing that. Why not? You get on my shoulders, I'll give you a boost and you can look through the window. Fair. Fair, but shouldn't I be the one giving you a boost? Mm. Let's, mm, I don't think you could handle it. <laughs> Saying that, she stopped them from the generator and motioned me to come over. Sure to tuck your feet behind my back. Okay. I wait over to Ava and awkwardly position myself on her shoulders. Are you sure you can do this? Well, looks like she's doing it fine. I'm fine. Just look through the window already. Alright. Alright. What do you see? Is that a table? Well, do you see anything? Yeah, another vent. And a room just beyond it. Yeah, that looks like a table and chairs. I can see what's inside the room though. Both these vents are in the way. Then close to the back of the boiler room vent, I noticed there were hinges bolted to the upper corners. Oh, so they're literally meant to go through it. 
Does mean the vent can be opened? I have my fingers around the gate in front of me. I pulled it as hard as I could. Hey, I got it open. Can you see better now? Although the second vent still obstructed a lot of the room, I was able to make up the legs of tables and chairs. I could tell that without the vent in the way down. Take that. We could probably move that one too, I'd assume. They're pretty fancy looking. This floor is some fancy room. Must be in a building with multiple levels. I this vent opens into another room instead of outside. Yeah. That's beyond the chairs in the very corner of the room. There was something peeking out. Yeah. Oh. Someone's not dead yet. There's no way. Maybe it's someone else who's not in the roof? Uh, felt my chest tighten. Is he also passed out? Uh, hello? Can you hear me? No response. Uh, okay, this is either it's either one of our classmates that's knocked out, one of our classmates is dead, which I don't think is going to happen. This is the prologue. Or it's someone that we don't know who is dead. Oh, jeez. Damn, that's gotta be way inside this room. Ava, can you let me down? Uh, someone in there? Oh, I, I, I think it's a guy. He's lying on the floor, and I'm pretty sure he's passed out. He might know something we don't. If we're not there when he wakes up, we might lose him. So... The room's on the level above ours, he said. Right, which means there must be stairs somewhere. I'd have to find them. Oh, okay, I was about to say why don't they just crawl through them, but it also just occurred to me that that vent's probably not that big. Probably just, like, window-sized. Probably can, might have to, like, get your shoulders through. Find them. Leave an area, press R key. I'll confirm the choice with you, just in case you want any second thoughts. Oh, nice. <laughs> Narrator is kind of, like, own character. Love that. Good choice. Uh, yeah, where is the exit to this room, actually? Uh, wait, are... Are you sure I want to leave? Yes. Is like the exit, like, behind us? Out of camera? We can see? As soon as I saw the water, I threw on my socks and shoes and ran straight to the door. Ooh. Upon leaving the room, I screwed with an equally the di reclet hallway. The walls and floor are an old, matted color with nothing else to them. No wall decor, no windows, no life whatsoever. However, there's one thing that stood out. At the end of your hallway, the corridor took a sharp turn where it looked like sunlight hitting the wall. That means there's an exit right around that corner? Don't go running off without me. Huh? I've already inspected a room in this hallway, so you can just ignore them. Wait, oh, you've been out of the room already? When did you do that? While you were asleep. You weren't waking up despite my best efforts, so I decided to investigate on my own. Uh, your best efforts? Poking you in the face, dragging by feet, even Bridal carried you at one point. I, I don't know, how would that have changed anything? I can believe that. To me. Anyway, I haven't checked what's upstairs, and I didn't walk too far from where you were lying. You don't think they get help? No. You are obviously breathing. Fair. Really? That doesn't answer the question. Uh, this is one sound that sounds like a door opening. Like, I'm like, what? Kind of takes me off guard. Second, I only started wake to wake up after I turned from my search. How was I gonna wait finding help? Unless she didn't want to want to leave me here alone. <gasps> she does care about me. How oh, nice. Can't figure her out at all. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I didn't turn up anything useful, by the way. The rooms are just a bunch of storage closets. Completely. There's a lot of big words in this. Oh, jeez. Completely dilapidated, filled with random stuff. Yeah, that was the case for every room. It's the, truth. the truth. If you don't believe me, you can check for yourself. I don't believe you. I mean, I think you're the ultimate liar, but <laughs> don't know if I should. But well, if, if, one thing I do hope Ava's not like. Hope she's not like Kokichi, where like, well, like yeah, it's like she. Technically, Hells and Llama, but there's also just so many points where she just lies just for the hell of it. I hope that doesn't happen. That was honestly pretty annoying. Anyway, and my great grandmother's. What the hell? As my great grandmother's brother's friend's motivational. When did you meet this guy? <laughs> Damon, what circumstances? So, okay. So, you're. So basically, your great uncle. No. Yeah, so your great, would be great great uncle. Is a great uncle like your grand the brother? So okay, so you met your 
great, the brother of the friend of the whatever. Anyway, what did what what did this friend say? You can't progress if you don't have the will to move. Oh, that was a narrator speaking. Okay, that was about to say it'd be kind of uh, off-putting for Damon to say something like that. This is Waski to walk since you're in a hurry. Well, don't shut this, friends. Last but not least, proceed with caution. Never know it could be hiding around the corner. Full day. Oh, we're here. Oh, this is very sensitive. Is there a way to change that? Uh, BGM. I guess not. That's fine. I can live with that. Anything else, Sava? If you don't believe me, check for yourself. Uh, okay, she so was just saying. I'll tell you. Oh, so I can check out storage closets. I'm gonna choose to believe you. For now. Uh, keep walking. What's in here? Whoa. It's like a hotel. The upper floor is a lot better condition than the one below, but that wasn't saying much. I don't know, it looks fine. Water stain covers some parts of the walls and ceiling. I don't think the pipe had been broken and started leaking. So I guess that's why our floor is flooded. There doesn't seem to be any mold, at the very least. Anything, Ava? The room with that unconscious man should be above and adjacent to the bo that boiler room. That means it must be the other side of this hallway, correct? Yeah, yeah given we walked away from the boiler room we get here. Alright, let's investigate. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's this? Hold on, is that? Oh, what the... Strange paint. I thought this was a no-no for a second. What is that? Whatever bird of this mask supposed to resemble, it's a freaky looking one. Looks, huh, like geometric. It's kind of like uh, I forgot his name. Though whoever the what the this is a bear or a dog or a girl dressed in a cute mask. Huh. Yeah, it's very. Is that there must be something. Uh, this is definitely not the room for the man. It's too close to the stairs. Right. Hmm, she looks kinda mad. Okay, it must be uh, over here then. This one? More creepy mask. Owl. A bunny. On Miami. Huh. Okay, I think this might be it. This is definitely. No? Alright then. Oh, I didn't. Okay, that's it. Rattle, rattle, rattle. It's locked. That's not it either. Ah, just that. Q. Oh, he startles. Oh. Or. Panther. A crow? Or a penguin? Is this it? Boy. Am I like super tall or something? The store, like, barely fit through the store. Look down. This must be the room. Taking a deep breath, I pushed open the large doors. Alright, what's in? What's in there? Oh. Oh. More creepy stuff. Wow, this is a pretty stylish looking place. It's a lot better maintained than the rest of the building. Yeah, looks nice except for the creepy ass paintings everywhere. Okay, the front should probably be... Yeah. Oh, Jesus! It's Grace! Huh? Before I had a chance to react, the woman dove her fist directly inside my head. Oh, Jesus. Ah! Oh, God. Who the hell are you? What the, who the hell are you? Why did you just hit me? I'm not gonna embrace a stranger with open fucking arms. You could've been a murderer. So your instinct is to attack everything you see? Hey, I've seen... I've already spared one guy in a suit. I'm not letting my guard down a second time. A guy in a suit? Oh, hey, it's Wolfgang. You good, buddy? Yeah. Oh, this sounds a good deal nicer, more polite. Hello. Guy, the outfit he's wearing. We've met before, haven't we? I was about to say, I recall seeing your faces on the train. Yep, yep. <laughs> Unnecessary flashback. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure the two of you are staying right next to each other. Do you guys know each other? Not at all. We only formally met a few months ago. Oh. Well, he's still knocked out by the sleeping gas stuff, right? <laughs> oh, I thought he was about to... <laughs> soybean? What? Yeah, that's right, I said it. You're soybean, just like this loser next to me. I disagree, but we should focus on what happened on the train. Good good call, Wolfgang. Don't try to argue with her. She doesn't seem like the type. She seems like the type that you just be going round and round in circles with. Oh, is this, is this song called Connecting the Dots? In loop around. Connecting the Dots. Oh, uh, that's, that's a cool song name. This is gonna be like shoving files and stuff, isn't it? I don't know what the fuck happened, but... One second I was on a train, next I was surrounded by total darkness. It was like a solitary confinement chamber. I thought I was gonna suffocate in there. What are you talking about? See that? See that pantry over there? Yeah? Turns out the door was unlocked. You're inside that pantry? <laughs> when she kicked open the door, I nearly jumped out of my skin. Wolfgang's a lot more polite than I was anticipating. I was expecting him to be kind of arrogant. Yeah. I think I'm gonna like Wolfgang if he's actually like this. Instead of... He's full of himself like, uh... Damon is here. And Grace, too, I suppose. What the hell were you doing while she was in there? Waking up. Eh? Yeah. It's not fair. I got something in some pan tiny pantry all this guy had an entire floor to himself. Her must have been jealous of my talent. I believe how many jealous bastards turned violent in this industry. The golf industry? It's a dumb face. You know who I am, right? Was I supposed to? Yeah. <laughs> Tss, uncultured swine. Hmm. Do you have like a Boston accent? I'm not, too, I'm not great at Mos at like recognizing the accent, but she kind of like I don't know. I'm just imagining it. Ooh, ooh, yes. Grace Madison, ultimate golfer. That's a voice I used during those like intro screens. It just be something about the voice and the ultimate golfer, of course. The two of you are on that train, that means you're ultimate as well. Uh, what about you? Hmm? Can you tell me your ultimate talent? And name? Damon, and name? That's probably more important. I'm Wolfgang Akere, the ultimate lawyer. Here's my card. Oh, damn, he had a card. Okay. Wolfgang Akure, ultimate lawyer. <laughs> lawyer? It's way better than being a golfer. Don't tell Grace that. She'll, she'll kill you. Unless she'll beat you with a golf club. <laughs> Such a young looking guy, and I expect him to have a talent like that. Well, at least he's, I think he's like in his 20s. That's probably it's older than like the dang Rambo kids. His age must be a part of what makes him an ultimate. You look confused. I'm not confused, I just. I look too young. Is that what you think? Yes. I get it a lot. Even Miss Madison said it. Because it's true. Well, don't you think the same can be said for yourself? I'm not wise in the way of sports, but I always had the impression golf was an old man's business. <laughs> not that young women shouldn't take the reins. Sports probably in need of revival. <sighs> it's a tough industry, though. That's because you gotta fight for recognition. Not sit, sit around for seven years and do F all. Sounds like the average high school now think about it. Hey, how old were you when you started college? Thank you. That's personal information I don't intend to disclose. That's fair. You're a piece of work, aren't you? You're getting, you're getting awfully worked up over nothing, Grace. Like, he's just being like, I don't want to share personal information, and you're just like... Yeah. I think I'm warming up to Grace. Like, I didn't think I was gonna like her. And I still don't, honestly. But like, I don't know, she's... She's like, entertaining. Like... Like, there's characters like Kokichi and Hyoko and Danganronpa who are like, pricks, but like... It wasn't like funny to watch, it was just like frustrating, but like, I don't know. I, like, Wolfkin's like kinda standing up to her, so I guess that's what in part makes it more entertaining. I don't know. I'm um, not a huge character analyst. I've been talking about the train, these guys seriously have their priorities skewed. Yeah, they got derailed a bit. Oh, yeah, Ava, you're here. I forgot about you. So, oh, you have them too. The Oh, yeah, the watches. Apple watches. I saw them. We're all wearing the strain wrist, wrist, wrist. So there's so many, there's like 
There's one too many W's in that sentence I got. Pun twisted. We're all wearing the same wrist straps. There we go. Really? <laughs> Making this song with another R sound? We are busy talking, so I figured you wouldn't notice unless I pointed them out. Hey. Wrist strap, you say? Pfft, these fuckers are more like mini shock collars. Those aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah. Heard you the first time. So you tried taking off, did you? You idiot. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I am an idiot. <laughs> Wait, is this- that's the second time I've, like, ad-libbed Ava smack talking someone and they responded with yes i'm gonna start doing that now off from now on to see how often it happens yeah actually it was me who tried taking off the stupid thing zapped me when i did i suspected it was it wasn't unique to me as mass and though i hadn't tried removing the strap myself smart smart dude equipping everyone with a strap that shocks them well i guess it's, well i don't think that's the only purpose but i guess you don't i guess we don't know what the rest of that purpose of that thing was I guess that's probably like the same as the uh, <clears throat> monopads and uh, thing around the. What could justify doing something like that? Uh, what's the purpose behind these straps? Are you daft? It's a shock us. The thing is, we've seen the receive shock if you try to remove it. So why aren't we allowed to remove these for straps? Ah, oh, got the first pointing sprite in this game. Like, like. Like, a lot of people, like, point out, like, Ace Attorney for its, like, pointing sprites, but, like, I think Rampa has some pretty strong, like, pointing sprites. Sprites, too. Like, all the protagonists have them, I think. Like, uh, Kyoko and Byakuya have them. Uh. That's all I can think of. Uh, Taka has one. Uh. That's all I can think of, but the point is, pointing sprites are cool. I think I started- I feel like I point more in real life just because of thing Rob is pointing sprites. Like, I just use it to dress someone. I don't know, maybe that's weird. What I want to know is what we even put these things on us. Hey, can Ava? Answer those questions. Might be something we have to figure out ourselves. Yeah, I don't think we can answer that yet. Hmm, pretty sweet party we got here. Doesn't make any sense. Maybe abducted and taken somewhere I don't know? Surrounded by a bunch of strangers and forced to figure out why. Oh yeah, by, by the way, what happened to that guy that was unconscious? Did we ever figure that out? Like, are we in the same room? This, wait, is this, if it has the same room as the that unconscious guy, then... Oh wait, was this... Maybe that was Wolfgang. Like, I think he had, like, gray pants, and Wolfgang has gray pants, so it might have just been him. Hope it was just him, because that means we don't have to worry about anyone else. But anyway, that doesn't make any sense. Why is it happening? Beep beep. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Are you talking to me? No. No, look behind you. Huh? More people? Confused? I turn I turn to see what captured everyone's attention. Oh It's uh I don't know your name, but it's the matchmaker girl. Uh for a second I thought I was seeing things. Being asked from the corner was a small girl. Who are you? What's her name, little one? What the is that a f what are you talking about? That's a human. Miss Madison. Madison, you'll scare her if you shock her like shout like that. Aw. Girl left the resistance corner and slid into the room. I can see for certain that she was a kid. Yeah, I think she's like 14 or something. She's like, and she's like, I think she's like, if Wolfgang's, I think she's like eight years younger than Wolfgang. It, it, Seven or eight, I don't I can't remember if Wolfgang's a twenty one or twenty two, but that's like major age difference. What the hell? Why is there a kid here? <laughs> For your information. For your information, I am not a gremlin. Did your mother never teach you manners? It's rude to backtalk strangers you haven't met. Oh wait, the gremlin can talk? Uh I like Okay, I really appreciate that, like, Grace is actually, like, being, like, talked back to. That's automatically gonna make her more entertaining than if she was just... mean. I just told you, I'm not a gremlin. We must make comparisons, and rather you'd like me to something more elegant. For example, a kappa. It's not much better. I was about to say, like, a delicate flower or something. I don't know. Please be careful what you say, Daryl. This game seems awfully young. She doesn't seem young, she is young. 
What's going on here? Why is a child walking around? I feel like we're kind of patronizing her, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Now that I think about it, I think I also saw you on that train. Yep. Oh, uh, yep, you're in the uh, outcast group on the left. We were hidden behind some other people, so you were pretty hard to see. I assumed you were sitting down or something. It didn't even cross my mind that you could have been an actual kid. How many times have we called her kid in this one conversation? Carrying events with a bunch of strangers, huh? Figures I didn't see it. Still, what the hell is he even doing on that train? Are you calling her an it? What I'm wondering. Uh, the kid's got no business being with people like us. I do not appreciate your misguided comments about my age. I am a professional, just like the rest of you. Yeah, she's an ultimate, dude. You mean you're an ultimate? I don't think children could qualify as ultimates. I am an ultimate. Oh god, she's she's getting a bit mad. We should really take her more seriously, guys. Plus, I keep repeating myself. I'm not a child. I'm a professional. Well, you are a child, but you're both. Those aren't mutually exclusive. Well, what is it you're so good at? Hm. So you desire to know my talent, do you? Is there a reason she's always covering her mouth? Does she have like fangs or something? Normally, I further. further. Normally, I decline further conversation with rude people like you. But given our circumstances, I must be sanguine. Sanguine? Did I pronounce that right? On the matter. I am Toshiko Kaiura, the ultimate matchmaker. Nice to meet you, I suppose. Toshiko. Okay, I remember that. Toshiko. Toshiko Kaiura, ultimate matchmaker. Nice. Uh, matchmaker? Aren't you a bit young for something like that? Hmm. Oh. Well. Robin's obviously lying about having talent. That snuck its way on the train because it saw the commotion. Grace, what is- you're being very rude. Snuggle little bastard stuck with us. Good touch, go. Now look what we've done. We've made her upset. Upset? Of course not. I know better than take a gremlin seriously. I thought they can just use my own insult against me. Grace. What? Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, Wolfgang has, like, his own, like, voice line that was referred to Madison. To Grace. God, I almost called her Madison. To Grace. I guess they, like, interact a lot in this game. That's interesting. It's always interesting to see, like, all, like, the little, like, relationships that form between, like, all the different people in this game. So we have things right, all five of us were on that train. Just, uh... Seven more to go? No. How many... No, I was thinking there's 12 people. There's 16 people in a game, right? In each thing you're off a game, yeah? So that... Yeah, it's... Yeah. Yeah, 16. Oh, the other people who boarded it. Do you think they've been kidnapped as well? Indeed. That is correct. You know that already? Hmm? Apart from us, there are 11 other people. Oh, so she... Oh, maybe she was like with everyone else and she went to try to find us. 11? I must have made 16. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I was right. Correct. That's the same number of people who are on the train. Hmm. I've been quite well acquainted with them. Oh, so you have talked to them. The only person I've been avoiding by is a frustrating boy I woke up with. You won't believe his manners. Are you talking about Kai? And she also woke up with another person. I'm starting to see a pattern here. As does everyone else. Speaking of, would you like to meet the others? I think they sh should know about you four. That would be helpful, yes. Very well, I shall survey as your guide as we embark on this new journey. I'm so happy about this. It's a kidnapping, not a college orientation. Well, I guess it's both, huh? <laughs> then again, it's not like I'll go to more some orientations willingly. Maybe those two events are not too different after all, huh? <laughs> Where are the others right now? Obviously, they're outside this building. There's an exit not too far from here. Follow me. She's... Hmm. Wait, they kind of like fade out pretty quickly, don't they? Compared to Dangarampa. It's no more than us. It wouldn't hurt to entertain her. <laughs> yeah, let's see what this thing has up its sleeve. I like this building, so it's even more of this place than we've already seen. Oh, the other building, just like this one? Exactly how much of an area are we exploring? Then in here won't give me an answer. I should find the exit already. Alright. Can we move around this room? Or no, it's just, uh... Uh, let's get out of here. Uh, yes, please. So yeah, it looks like we can leave the buildings. Like, uh, V3, where there's, like, a bunch of adjoining buildings. 
Like that those are gone. Forever. I work better alone. I probably won't think that for long in this game. Uh probably it's through the this store. Oh, yeah, everyone's here. Hmm. I seen my like I feel like I'm like Hmm, maybe not. I was gonna say, like I felt like the camera was like way too high. Then it should be because I had to look look down at the doors, but like, I don't know, everyone else seems like I height. Like I have to look up a little bit to look at Wolfgang in the head. And Grace are like the same height. I have to look down to look at these two. Especially Toshiko, look at her. She's so small. You're late. You're waiting? Only because this gremlin insisted. I didn't even realize you fell behind until she said something. I'm ashamed to say the same. Uh, by the way, what are the others doing right now? Exploring something else, probably. You don't sound very sure of yourself. Hmm, <laughs> have the nerve to tell me to stay put while they inspected the area. They don't want me exploring, I guess I'll explore by myself. Alright, sounds like she just wants to show off. <laughs> Cares about that. The guy's here now. Let's go already. Yes. And then the others will realize their foolishness. Wonderful. Onwards to the great outdoors. Yeah, she's definitely like, going out of her way to cover her mouth. Like, I don't know if that's just like... Uh... I don't know what it's called, but... Just to look cool, but... Or if it's like, she's like, actually... If she was like, actually trying to like, hide like, vampire things or whatnot, I think she would like... Use something other than a fan. It seems a little precarious. Anyway, great outdoors. The little girl turns the you know her name, Damon. The little girl turned to face the door, but instead of pushing it open, she reached for a lock I hadn't noticed before. Click. Door opened to the lawn shrill creak. And I finally saw it was waiting outside. What's outside? Loading. Ooh. Little Gazy bow. Stand before us, bathed in the sun, with a massive Roman esque courtyard. Finally, some sunlight. This courtyard. I wonder if we can escape by climbing over the hedges. Hedges are tall, but if we try looking for rope, I doubt it's that easy. The vices we're wearing will probably shock us. Hmm, <laughs> see if you're right. Wait. Go on, soybean. Climb the hedge. You do it, you asshole. Up the. Unfortunately, it's pointless to climb the hedges. How do you know? Take a close look at the sky. You should understand. Oh, is there a dome for us? Like in B3? Sky? Yes, do you see anything strange? Is the light like refracting off glass? Anything strange? Oh, there's nothing standing out to. Wait, huh? So when I tried to adjust the glare of the sun, I noticed that. Shapes of the clouds wasn't normal at all. No, it's almost as if they were concave. Oh, there is a dome over us, maybe? Or maybe it's digital. Guys, curving inwards. How can this be? Could this be? Are we looking at a hologram? Of, of this size? No way, it's gotta be a 360 projection or something. That's... In the scar we're looking at is actually a video panorama? Sounded completely ridiculous when I said it out loud, but at the same time, it made too much sense. Mm. If this is a 360 projection, wouldn't that mean we're inside some sort of dome? Yeah, so we are in some... So we are in a dome, basically. Mm. Such is the truth I have long recognized. That's... Come off the grass. Wait, you know the sky was fake? Why do you call this dump yard the great outdoors? It's for a dramatic effect. I'm <laughs> sure that I haven't seen natural sunlight since the moment I woke up here. Cause for concern. <laughs> uh, no sunlight. Really didn't think we'd see any window. Really didn't see any windows in this building. No, no not at all. <gasps> windows need no oxygen. Maybe suffocating as we speak. <laughs> We've survived this on. I think we'll be okay. okay. Alright. We're acting way too nonchalant. Doesn't this place bother you at all? I don't know. I, I, I like how Wolfgang's the uh, easygoing one. Puts me at ease. The dome with a thick sky. That's something out of a movie. And whoever brought us here wanted to recreate the feeling of being outside in lieu of actually letting us outside. Or if you want to make broad assumptions. A situation like this, making assumptions all you can rely, all you can really do. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Whether or not the sky really is a projection, it's not something we can do much about. For now, we should remain focused on me and the other students. Yeah, that's good. Enough? Oh, like, do you smell more sleeping gas? Of the innate chatter, I heard a quiet, high pitched noise, sort of like a mouse's squeak. So, unlike the current conversation, it automatically stood out. 
Hey guys, can you guys stop talking for a second? Hmm? Hmm? Is there a problem? Yeah. Do you hear that? Hey. Hear what? I almost sound like whimpering. Is it one of the zunes? Like, uh, Eloise, maybe? Huh? Oh. Strike me pink. Wait, I just heard it. Boy, you. Boy, who's all crying? Quit hiding and come talk to us. Mm. Do ignore the shrew. <laughs> her bark is worse than her bite. <laughs> you kind of shrew. Yeah. Crying seemed to have stopped, but whoever it was refused to come out. Mm. Can we just leave them be? If they don't want help, it's not our issue. Goodness. Don't be so heartless. There could be someone in need. Yeah. Uh, to the girl that is crying, please excuse my friend here. None of us are here to hurt you, so I think you should come out. I don't know why they're making me more scared. You think? I think that's gonna convince them. Oh, yep, 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 there she is. Hello, Eloise. You doing okay? See, yeah. kindness works. Yeah. Uh, um. Aw. Um, hello, I, uh, um, I wasn't, um, awkward thing. Uh, oh, Wolfg Wolfgang's so kind. I like Wolfgang. I think Wolfgang's my favorite character so far. What well, well, really was not expecting that, honestly. <laughs> I, w I was expecting to be a, like... I don't know. Not nice, I guess. I'll let you tell us your name first. Uh, Eloise Tolner. I'm the ultimate fencer. I it's really nice to meet you all. Even if it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful song's called Beautiful Shout Strategy. I guess that's continuing the beautiful song title in the series. Anyway, gotta do the voice. Eloise Tolner, Ultimate Fencer. Nice. Ultimate Fencer, was it? Strange. That's strange. Someone who's prolific at fighting shouldn't have a reason to hide from people. Well, I don't know if she has a sword. Actually, it doesn't focus as much on courage as people think. Um, um the key defense is the ability to predict your opponent's moves, along with having the agility to avoid them. Acting brash may get you the first move, but it's a steady, analytical mind that secures the win. Well, she's talking about fencing. That's kind of impressive. Thank you. Thank you. Aw, smile. <laughs> I get really excited when it comes to the subject, so I can't help but gush. Aw. But I have to ask, why were you hiding from us? Stood there quietly, deep in thought. Okay. When I woke up, I had no idea where I was or why I was here. Kind of like... There were several strangers around me. They were so panicked as well. I felt like a mouse caught in a trap. Everything around me was so suffocating. Oh. That's why I ran away immediately. Aw, poor Eloise. Uh, you know, uh, I just thought of this, but I just realized that uh, most of these characters are gonna die. This is a dang around the game. Oh man. That, God, from, I knew from the second that she was introduced that like, I don't want her to die, and this is like not helping. Like, at least one person in this group that we have right now is gonna be dead by the end of the game. Probably at least two, more realistically. Uh, I don't. Like,. I'm gonna be, like, even if it's, like, Grace, I'm gonna be sad. I've... Uh, uh, oh, boy. Sorry, I gotta absorb this information. I really don't like when people can see me like that. I can't even call my mom. My phone wasn't on me when I came to. If it's any reassurance, it seems my friends and I are in the same situation. Aw. Uh, look out for Olaf again. She... You're a good, you're a good dude. A good dude. Seriously. That's probably the last thing she wants to hear. And since when were we friends? <laughs> Damon, 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 more like damn man, why you got be such a such a mood killer. Such a negative Nancy. Well Was there anyone with you when you woke up? Yeah, just ignore me though. Yes, but I didn't get to talk to them before I went to flight mode. Sorry. This girl is just as clueless as us. She may be also passed out on that train. Damn, what the hell is going on here? Uh, um, um were you the only people in that building, by the way? Mm-hmm. Miss Kayura is currently introducing us to everyone else. Would you also like to join? Yeah, sure when. I think I want to stay where I am. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Very well. When I meet the others, I'll tell them to gather here. That way, you won't be alone. 
Also, if everyone's together, we can discuss our next course of action. Yeah, I'll wait here. That makes things easier for everyone. Many thanks. Many thanks, Ms. Stalner. Mayor report, she looked a lot calmer. Yeah, that's nice. Wholesome. Wolfgang knows how to handle the situation pretty well. Maybe just knows how to handle people in general. Yeah, I guess if he's a lawyer, he knows how to... Clone people, deal with people. I guess it's admirable. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> can I move around again? Yes, I can. Got anything else to say? Hello? Whoa, who is that? Wait, are there other people around here? It's Desmond, I know. Uh, got anything to say, Alex? Um, I'll stay in card while we find the others. Uh, okay, before I talk to Desmond, I think that was his name, I'm gonna talk to everyone else here. Real quick. Oh, back up there, personal's bubble. Grace. What do you gotta say? Big sky, huge dome, it's like something a set of a reality show. Yeah, Truman Show. Turns out being forced to take part in one. Do I take part in a reality show? Seriously, doubt that. Reality shows are pretty questionable ethics, but I've never heard of one kidnapping its contestants before. Yeah, for real. Uh, don't tell me. Doshiko. Yes, I got it right. So. Of the 11 students I mentioned before, five of them awoke in this courtyard. I also woke up here, so six people. Makes you, yeah, makes you a group of six. If I want to split into pairs, so check out. And there were four of us in that building. I Means there's probably six building people in like, if there, I don't know, I'm assuming why there's another building, this one building, I mean. But anyway, I'll make a group. The one idea, the surrounding sky gave us hope of a world beyond the courtyard walls. But no sooner after we fell for the dome's illusion did the cracks begin to show. I have no doubt that was intention of this place, inspiring hope in order to crush it. Oh, hope versus despair all over again. <laughs> Clearly we are witnessing the machination of a dastardly villain. Point could have been made in a lot fewer words. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I thought she was like raising her foot up. Hmm. I'm liking all the characters so far. There's no one I dislike. Like, Grace is definitely, like, my least favorite, but, like, I don't know, she's entertaining. Hey, Wolfgang, you're cool. You're my favorite character so far. Well, Curious. yeah, I think you're my favorite. Eloise is my second favorite, I think, so far, anyway. Such a strange place, this courtyard. Oh, nothing much else to say. And Ava, you're, yes, my first friend here, even though Damon wouldn't call you his friend because he hates people. Well, I agree the sky is most likely a video production projection. Sorry, Damon, I'm kind of struggling with my words right there. Oh, but someone wanted to create a fake sky in the first place. Hmm, I don't know what to say either. Anyway, uh, da -da 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 Desmond, I don't know if your name is that, but uh, sorry to keep you waiting. What's up? You're like the third character revealed in the, like, Bio, so I think he might be important, maybe? Or maybe you're just whatever. I don't know. Anyway, good to meet you, dude. Guy who was leaning against a head with his hands in his pockets. Nice. nice. Looks like I found some friends. Indeed. Indeed. Why don't you say hello? He looked at us and waved. Priest friendly. That's good. Or is this an urge to wave back? Oh, see? Even, even Damon is. He's being swept in by the aura of friendliness that this guy gives. Don't fight it, Damon. Become friends. If you know manners, talk to them. Alright, my bad. Clearly, I mean, he stepped straight and faced us. Don't worry about it. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to act like a dick. They've just been all over the place for me. No excuse, I know. Hmm. I suppose. Those who can forgive you, if you give us our name. Easy enough. Hmm. I'm oh. Desmond Hall. They call me the ultimate marksman. That's right. Oh, can I do this place? Desmond Hall, ultimate marksman. Cool. Hear me out. A marksman, eh? I must mean really good at shooting stuff, right? Right. That's right. I have a really good eye for my targets. Like you. <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry about that. Uh, guns, bows, slingshots, you name it. I fit those eyes with it. Like foreheads, I mean. <laughs> with all those weapons, I must ask. You haven't killed anyone, have you? No, I don't think he has. Oh, whoa, never. Really, my thought might leave see people on edge, but I only practice on stationary targets, like dead bodies. 
Oh, <laughs> uh, after I've killed them <laughs> with my knife. Uh, I cracked myself up. <laughs> Moving targets are really outside my comfort zone, <laughs> but I'm always willing to step outside it. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, doesn't. Believe me, I've never taken a human life. Uh, okay, I'm done. Let's see, get to know. Such a serious question. He closed himself pretty quickly. This is a guy who knows how to keep his cool. Yeah, I like that. So, where's your partner? Y'all yeah, one to my knowledge. Is it like... Oh, you mean the pirate? Oh. I was about, I was about to say, I noticed that like, all over here has been like, boy-girl, so I thought that was the case, but... I guess the guy broke the pattern. c c, -c, -c combo breaker I mean, the pirate guy. Uh, Jean is his name. You all as well. It was fine. Harmless for the most part. Just a little too extreme for me to be around. It's alright. Situations like this, I prefer to keep to myself. I know that sounds less cooperative, but, you know. See, Desmond is like the good version of, uh, Damon's, like, wanting to be alone. Like, like he's like, he's like good. He's good Damon. They even made their name sound similar, even. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yep, see, Damon gets it. Wait a second. Huh? Where are you gonna start? You, did you just say a pirate? It sounds dumb, I know. I went by the other hand, spoken to the guy myself. It's gotta be the one freaky dude on train, right? The buff one with the dragon tattoo? Why are you smiling? Yep, that's your man. He went through the door. He went. Oh, he's still talking. He went through the door over there, so. Ha! I gotta see him! Why? You have fun with that. Just saying, the guy's a little out there. Don't make, don't make fun of him, Grace. If that's what you're planning to do, anyway. By the way, Desmond, do you see that girl in the gray uniform over there? I told her I'm gonna bring everyone here. I think it's important we discuss this current situation as a group. Could you give her some company while I'm gone? Oh, Wolfgang's still looking out for her. Which means that if she gets killed, then it's really gonna hurt him. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, sure thing. The others are an odd bunch, so good luck convincing them. May not casual, but being the ultimate marksman must take a lot of diligence. Yeah, always keeping a steady hand, always thinking on your feet. Probably a lot to learn from someone like that. Yeah, I agree. Doesn't seem like a good dude. Everyone must be in the building up ahead. Perhaps they are discussing something. Let's head over there and find out, shall we? Sounds a like ghetto. Oh yeah, let's see if these two have any new dialogue. Since they're chilling together. Okay, no, that's the same. Uh, Desmond, got anything else? Good luck. Good luck convincing the others. Not dangerous or anything, just kind of quirky. So quirky and cool and unique. Are these like pictures of plants or something? I'm, like, I'm not complaining or anything, I'm just wondering. It might be, I don't know. That's fine. Oh, I'm standing in the center. Whoa, woohoo. Been in a circle three times in here, you get a secret ending. Imagine. Uh, okay, so that's where it came from. That's where I saw Desmond. Nothing's over there unless... I don't know, maybe it's like secret stuff or something. Maybe not. Uh, let's in here. Oh, 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 it's, uh, John. He's in the center, I see him. Holy hell, is that a tree? Yeah, that is a tree. I think it must be like 60 feet tall or something. That to behold, isn't it? That's not it. Let's not get too excited. Hold on, one second. Could you explain? 
interesting. Impossible! Look at this. Interesting indeed. <sighs> In any case, Sure. <laughs> Let's see. Hey. I apologize. I see. I see. I hear you. <laughs> Oi, you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Byred! Hey. I'm talking. Ha! Watch it. Jeez. Mistake. I'm real sorry.
Was I muted that entire time? I got... <sighs> this dream is so good and epic and good. <sighs> Sorry for losing my cool. Okay, whatever. You said you were a ship captain, right? This guy was acting weird, but I want to get more out of him. Never picture a ship captain receiving an invitation from Eden's Garden Academy, especially not someone like this guy. Hmm, that's right. Hmm, that's right. <laughs> I know the sea is like the back of my hand. Every river and waterway with the north and southern waters. I'm the king of the seas. Oh, sorry. Nice. Good voice acting. John de la Mer. Let's do it. John de la Mer, ultimate ship captain. Nice. King of the seas? Hero of the storms? People actually call him that already. He came up with those names himself. Yeah. Maybe. Is that really no, every weather waterway? Is that really true? Yep, I've studied every map I can possibly find. Of course, I haven't actually been everywhere, according to a stingy little bit thing called Border Patrol that's known in some parts as trespassing. <laughs> I may be king of the seas, but I'm not above the lock. <laughs> I suppose that's good enough. By the way, it's not like it matters much here. From the looks of it, it looks like we're nowhere near the ocean. Fortunately, life as a captain is custom me to the unexpected. You lads can trust me, I'll protect you as if you are my own crew. Hi, nice. Protect? Perhaps from what? I suppose, from whoever put these wristwatches on us. Then again, there doesn't seem to be anyone in this place apart from us. Because that means our only obstacle is finding an escape. That leaf scared me a bit. Not too great, we're okay. All we need to do is find where we entered, and voila, sweet freedom. Hmm, I don't know if that's gonna be that easy. Some such a simple conclusion, I'm sure he's making a big deal out of it. It may interest you to know that people are gathering outside the building Miss Kai Kaiura explored. We went everywhere together so we can discuss what to do next. Would you like to join? To Always good to keep people on the same wavelength. See you there, mate. <laughs> guy's a prick. I don't know what I expected. Yeah, I weren't able to make fun of him like he hopes. Funny, these are a bit as dumb as appearance. That come on, Damon, you're such a d such a jerk. Yeah. Actually I think Damon might be my least favorite character, honestly. I mean, he's not awful, I don't hate him or anything. But like, actually I don't, I don't know, actually I don't know, like, I don't know, like, he's obviously a jerk, like, Grace, but, like, I don't just, like I said this earlier, but like, just the fact alone that he's the main character makes the fact that they chose to make him a jerk interesting, I don't know, I guess we'll find out later. What was the academy thinking finding someone like him? Come on, dude. Anyway, uh, should we just go clockwise or counterclockwise? Uh, so like I don't want like I don't because like there are some people in here I do want to talk to more than others, but like I guess maybe I'll talk to who I want to talk to like. Who I think is like the least interesting and like go up from there. I guess that's. I guess I'll go with. Okay, I'm sorry, Winona, but like I have no idea what to think of you, so I'm going with you. <laughs> What's your deal? Oof. So I got caught up in this too, did you? I remember, I remember seeing the five of you on that train. You're really ultimate students, huh? We wouldn't have been on that train if we weren't. Yeah. Just making sure. I'm not really nice either, jeez. I knew the education sector had lost. <laughs> Man. Uh, what's. I just hand out titles to anyone who asks. Can you. What the hell is your damage? <laughs> she, yeah, right. Yeah, right, Damon. Yeah, Grace is. Right, right, that's it. What's the matter? I know this. Well, you do? As in, personally? Nah, she's a harlot that's been running my magazines. Ruining? Running your magazines. Ever since the interview with Rich People's Digest, her stupid success stories have been plastered everywhere. Youngest ever self-made billionaire, pioneer of the agricultural industry, blah. 
There you go, right? You're a billionaire? This girl I'm talking to is actually a billionaire? I'm glad you memorized my resume. Your resume? So, the thing she said wasn't an exaggeration? It's news to you? Anyone knows. Anyone who is anyone knows about Winona. Winona? That would be my name, yes. Although, many call me the ultimate entrepreneur. Origins aside, it's one good title. Okay, oh, gotta do the other thing. Winona, ultimate entrepreneur. Hmm. Oh no. I wonder if she gets off an intense Earl. This girl probably has enough money to buy an entire country. Yeah. I'm kidding. But, like, I like her design and all, but she just. She just seems very high and mighty. I don't know. Well, it doesn't mean I'm gonna let her talk down to me. Yeah, I'm actually with you on this one, Damon. <sighs> she has looks, talent, and wealth. She'd be a truly auspicious match. Oh, you're thinking matchmaker? Why would a billionaire need to attend a school like Eden's Garden Academy? Yeah, you would not have to go to school ever again. I thought it'd be an opportunity to make connections with the well-established geniuses of my generation. That's yeah, fair. Now that I'm aware of the lax admissions process, I'm leaving the first chance I get. Oh, that's... Jeez, that's a very disgust. That's a good disgusting face. I actually feel, like, worse looking at this. And not because you've been kidnapped, yeah. You might have trouble leaving, Winona. You can't leave! Destiny is the career that I must guide you toward the most wondrous romance! Oh god. Oh dear. Oh god. Oh man. Oh, Toshiko, you're gonna do this while we're... Oh god, if we're here, you're gonna focus on Winona exclusively. Oh no. Oh god. Uh, shipping. Worst nightmare. I'm not really interested in that. I'd rather receive financial reparations from the Academy. <laughs> At the very least, let me be your steer. With my divine foreshad, I shall lead your legal battle to victory. After I fell asleep in that train car, someone must have carried me out and thumbed me onto the tree here. Did no one stop them? Are there no precautions in place to stop someone from manhandling a student? Well, there weren't protections for any of us. Say it was extremely ineptitude as schools then, but since it appears I'm not the only victim. What a joke. Well, that makes things all the more sinister. So you think someone carried her here? It's plausible, I guess they could've transported us from the train by vehicle, then carried us in. Yeah, I don't can't imagine how else they would have carried us in. I don't know, like I got forklift or something. Maybe they got them for like had to get them for like John or Ingrid, since they're bigger. When you woke up, was anyone with her with you? Honestly? Yep. But she was weird, so I left her. Who was it? Shh, a walking stereotype. <laughs> you know about as much as you do. The five of us have been walking around and talking to the other students that were on the train. The rest of them are congregating outside. Once we meet everyone, maybe we'll be able to figure out what's going on. Say, why don't you join them? I think I'll take you up on that offer. You've got a deal. Such a relief the one of you, that one of you actually had something useful to say. <laughs> She's, uh, Wolfgang's so charismatic, he was able to actually get Winona to listen. I was about to say, I was about to say, like, I hope Wolfgang doesn't die, but, like, I seriously doubt that he's gonna be, like, die early on, because, like, he just, just, like, seemed, like, I feel like if they killed him off, it would just be, like, a massive, like, wasted potential. Like... Like I, like I just, like more than anyone else, I feel like that he might, he's either gonna be like a survivor or like last up until like the late game. Yeah, that's good, it's a good feeling. Anyway, girl's a piece of work, but given the reason happening, she's not worth the stress. Yeah, probably. More importantly, what happened to us? Too much for a single pair of hands. Someone had to sneak onto, or even hijack the train, plant a chemical agent, and then carry everyone they knocked out. It's gotta be more than one person behind us. A group, maybe. The question becomes, who and why? We'll find out. Oh yeah, I'm working my way up. Uh, I'm going with Kai. Like, I don't know, I think I might have had like the wrong impression about this dude considering he like, seemed pretty nice Uh, when I met him, but who knows. Let's see. What do you got to say, dude? Oh, it's... we're talking to... Diane. Yes. Oh, I guess we're talking to you, I guess. 
Oops, I'm really sorry for hurting your feelings. I'll give your content a try. Who knows, I might really like it. Well, I guess these two are like a package. Like, if I talk to one, then it counts as both. Nah, if you didn't like it from the start, you're probably never gonna like me. But, hey, you two. Yeah? Oh crap, new guy, over here! What? For the train before things went all crazy, right? Ha, <laughs> <laughs> check it out, me and the new guy together again. Stop acting like we're friends, I don't even know you. Yeah, we don't. Just me. <laughs> That's a joke, right? What is? You know the thing you said? Hey. Maybe for my name before, does Kaya Montiego ring a bell? Dude, hey. come on, Kaya Montiego, don't you know me? <laughs> something of an artist, something of an entrepreneur? Very funny. An influencer, a really big influencer, please, don't you know me, please? Uh, no, doesn't ring a bell. Ouch, Ouch right. Oh, he has a talk. I thought I already lost all faith in humanity before coming to this dump, but... <laughs> oh, come off it, dude, it's fine. Oh, now you're gonna choose yourself. Kai Montiago, ultimate influencer. Oh, I guess he didn't choose himself, no mind. Anyway. You don't recognize the dumbass? Must be nice. Oh, you know him? Yes. That is this cancer of the internet. <laughs> You just scream on one thing, I'll sick his army of underage followers on you. Oh god, he's... <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> he's a dictator with a trendy fet. Uh, it's a bit of shame. Dictator? Sheesh, nature stereotypes are always so overdramatic. Yeah, that's a bit overdramatic, but in any case. Whatever. Don't listen to our new guy. It's just just cycling other people's propaganda. You wanna talk? Check yourself in the mirror before crime propaganda. Uh, eh? Yeah, I see you're no stranger to photo editing. I'm kinda impressed. No one ever guess you've had the face of a horse. Aw. And the interiors are grown as quickly as they vanished. I'm not sure I expect the influencer to be like in person, but this is definitely not a... Don't be mean. Hey, leave Kai alone. I may not be the nicest person in the group, but can't you see you're hurting his feelings? I guess... Mm, got a point. You can get over it. <laughs> anyway, what about you? Oh, you. Yes, Diana, what is your deal? I think you're you're kind of interested in me when I first, uh, when you were first revealed. Hmm? Can you give me your name and talent? Oh! Oh, oh sure. I'm Diana Benicia, your local cosmetologist. If you're ever in need of a makeover, I'll work my magic. <laughs> Just ask. Uh, uh, oh, okay, here we go. Diana Venic Venicia, ultimate cosmetologist. Hope I pronounced that her last name right. I have a feeling she's gonna die. I don't know why, I just have a feeling. But then again, uh, then again, I guess, okay, spoilers for the whole Danger Rampa series, I guess. But, uh, basically in every single game, for most of them anyway, I had a, like a sh super strong feeling that one particular character was gonna die. And then they didn't. Like, in the first game, it was Yasuhiro. In the second game, it was Kazuichi. And I don't... Actually, I don't think I had any in V3. I don't think I had one in V3, actually, never mind. But yeah, uh, Yasuhiro and Kazuichi, I was like, you two are, like, 100% going to die, and they never did. And I was happy about that, I actually really liked both of them, so I was like, alright then. But, it, regardless. So maybe I'm wrong about this. I don't know. Come again. Is that it? Just a makeup artist? Come on. Not just a makeup artist, THE makeup artist. What? Indeed. Diana is the biggest beautician in Hollywood. She's relatively new to the public sphere, but word of his talent has been dominant in social media. Enough to pique the internet, the interest, interest of the entertainment elite. <laughs> oh ho ho, now every A-list celebrity is scrambling to hire her. I see this is not your first time talking about her. I'm simply quoting my friends. They're all, all on, they are all on Diana's waiting list. Sure. I'm sure. Okay. Why is it a shock that this guy doesn't recognize her? What about me? What about me? Why do you care what he thinks? Isn't it the demographic for people like you? Why do you care what he thinks? Isn't the demographic for people like you largely teenage girls? My stuff is for everyone. I'm inclusive like that. Okay, that's it. Let's break this up. Diana, could you and Kai go to the courtyard outside? We're trying to get everyone together there. No Alright, see you later. 
that none of you guys, those guys like me either. Like a partisan influencer. If there's any other academy, I wouldn't bet an eye. Ultimate talent program is a shelf of, shell of skull itself. I had out ultimate titles to anyone who asked. In Scarlet Academy, it said it was above that. It said it prioritized the academic talent. Now it thinks I'm on par with those two? Uh, you're... Well, you don't know them that well. Uh, Thaven. Who knows what they think. So I guess those two are a pair. Uh... I'm guessing these two are also a pair. Uh, I guess I'll do like a one on one then. I guess I'll do Lucius since he's right here. What's up? Boy, he was silently observing the space around him and jotting things down in a notebook. What's up? Uh, hey you! He's asleep. Great. The hell? The hell? Oh, sorry. I dozed off a bit there. For concern. You have terrible eye bags. You should not be getting enough sleep. Well, game, consider it. <sighs> getting locked, not getting out of train was the most sleep I've gotten in a week. Well, thankfully that little girl woke me up before I wasted too much time. Oh, I guess you were with Toshiko. I'd known better you once have. Your terrible sleep schedules diminish your already meager natural beauty. Oh, Jesus. The guy paused for a few seconds and began furiously scrolling his notebook. Younger, natural beauty. <laughs> Pursuit? What, what are you doing? Very loud woman with a visor. <gasps> are you writing about us? Make sure to record all my daily happenings. There's no way I'd remember it all otherwise. Some, some fa in some fashion, no taking is just one of many responsibilities. My many responsibilities. My name is oh. Ulysses Wilhelm, and I'm the ultimate historian. Please make note of that for future reference. Alright. Oh, I'm kind of messing up his voice, but whatever. Okay. Ulysses Wilhelm, ultimate historian. Good. Impressive. Just saying, uh, fellow scholar, much more like myself. Oh, uh, he'll totally get along. Oh, this noise you can kind of see a little bit of. Wolfgang on the left border there. Which one's the real Wolfgang? Jeez. I'm not ultimate historian be good at memorizing stuff. Yes, I'm perfectly proficient at remembering historical facts, but better at remembering day to day things. Another book is just for more frivolous information. It's just like shopping lists, classmate birthdays, when to brush my teeth. Such excellent memory rested on menial trivia. Probably could remember the day of your wedding anniversary unless you wrote it down. Unfortunately. Uh, things that's the same for most of them. Oi! Come on, Wolfgang. So, so, what do you do as the ultimate historian? As of now, I work at the Padawomek, Padawomek, Padawomek River Museum in Sen, Senakamaka. I hope I probably did pronounce that right. So on and so on. So on and so on. I detect one of the exhibits there. Cold War era. Ooh. When I'm not giving tours, I'm studying primary source documents in my office. Wonder you can't get any sleep. You can stay awake while reading all those boring history books. There's definitely something wrong with you. There's a reason for everyone, I'm aware. But it's important knowledge, nevertheless. Mm -hmm. Those who fail to learn from history are doomed to sound stupid when arguing on the internet. <laughs> uh, that was in his voice demo. I remember that one. That's not how the saying goes. It isn't, but I updated to coincide with more modern values. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, that is correct, actually. I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. Humor is subjective. <laughs> and I thought it was subjectively funny. Don't worry, Ulysses. Anywho, people have begun gathering outside. Then let's discuss our next course of action. Could you please join them? That's right. Thank you, Miss... Uh, Curly falling through the pages notebook. Shuko Kaira. Did you seriously just forget my name? It's the most egregious offense. Think solace in the fact that I'm a mere matchmaker, not your romantic partner. According to my notes. In a large world, run by even large ideas, small things can be easy overlooked. <laughs> Banning herself indignantly. Oh, I can, I can picture that. <laughs> so she goes stormed off. <laughs> Should we follow her? Yeah. Yeah, this guy we just met. Yeah, I probably won't. Oh, gone. Can't wake up, dude. You gotta 
You gotta follow. He's out for the count. Oh, Tarshika's still here. Came back. Greetings. The eleven. Oh. Hmm. Oh, just the same. Oh, that's a good point. Why like, wasn't it? Well, I guess for to make it more interesting. Uh. Okay, I'll do Ingrid, those two, and then end on Cassidy. Wait, hold on a second. Oh, uh, I was gonna say. Damon, you said that she was like twice her height, but like where I level, I have to like look up slightly. Can I phase into her? Whoa. Oh, whoa, I'm facing into you. Anyway, fuck, oh, God's sake, focus. Anyway, what's up? Oh, I thought, thought she had like devil horns for a second. Like that little, oh, okay, that's fair enough in like one of her hair tops kind of look like devil horns. What's this? More fence? Let's not go that far. I don't even know your name or talent yet. Wait just a sec. Uh, I I don't think I'm gonna be able to do her accent. My voice is kind of tired already. I'm not good at doing it in general. Then, uh, well, let me try. Then let me tell you. Yeah, uh, that's you know, that's good enough. Hi, my name is Ingrid Grimwall, and I'm the ultimate blacksmith. That's a good voice. Uh, ultimate black. Okay. Ingrid Grimwall, ultimate blacksmith. I like her. She seems seems like uh uh, reliable person. That's what, that's what I'm looking for. Seems nice to have a good friend to have you around. Real blacksmith, eh? Oh, what are you gonna say, Grace? Isn't it ever, is it anything like a movie depict it? Ever made swords out of molten metal? Not just swords, but tools, armor, statues? You can name it, I can forge it. Oh, I'm getting hang of it, no run. Never an easy undertaking, I will admit. Sprained muscles are par for the course, but... Same way, climbing a mountain is painstaking, but reaching the top delivers a high you can never forget. Struggle is all worth it for the outcome. Nice. Aw, she's cute. wonder if she's built like an athlete. Her job sounds non-stop, high-intensity exercise. So, how... How is your kind not gone extinct? Oh, uh, extinct? Made redundant by technology. Aren't there ways to make specialized weapons without overworking yourself? And spotted machines, it's true I'm not an equal match. Because I think I'm better than them. Slunks of metal may look cool, but the creations lack the human touch. God keeps me natural, traditional. That's why I truly that's when truly amazing things happen. My creation touches the heart, it's better than anything made by machines. Perfections be damned. Oh yeah. Ooh. Better than machines, huh? People have already told me my skills were impressive, but yet to be compared to a computer or anything. God, Black can receive that sort of acclaim before me. What about me? Okay, Wolfgang, we need some reasonable here after dealing with Damon. It's always been the man for handmade things, especially nowadays. Does your audience skew older by chance? Old folks, movie producers, board game enthusiasts, even the occasional young'un. Those are all people who visit me. Oh, it's great when I relate to most of my clients. Their excitement is mine. Exactly which clients does she relate to? Everyone, probably. In any case, are you the same as us? Were you also kidnapped on that train and taken here? Oh, I wouldn't say kidnapped. Did you not black out on that train? Uh, eh, no, I did. Well, then how else would you describe the situation? Maybe it's a surprise excursion? Hiya. Or yeah, a surprise exam. People ranks program just put our abilities to the test. Oh god, is this like... I think this is like... Thing wrap of one where like everyone's trying to justify being kidnapped or something. This is because you can't really understand what's like being in this situation. Take this That's stupid. If the camera was that unhinged, no one would continue attending it. Well, you know, whatever it is, I'm sure we'll get out of here. Alive. Or not. If this optimism isn't a substitute for reason. Hmm, yeah. Optimism is good, but yeah, I guess it's. But yeah. By the way, there's a gathering happening outside the building Miss Kaya explored. Would you like to join? Plan to discuss some very important matters there. No. Nah, aren't you nice? Yeah, he is nice. I'm glad you recognize that, Ingrid. I'll get right to it. Don't get anything silly while I'm gone. Ooh. Okay. Remember how I said that I didn't think 
Wolfgang was gonna die. Well, something that I've... Okay, it's thing about spoilers again, but, uh... One thing that's... Okay, maybe this... Maybe I'll, I'll explain why I might be wrong about this, but, like, one thing that's been pretty... Oops, sorry about that, but my mic. Uh, that's been pretty consistent is that, like... Uh, one of the first care people who die in the games is usually, like, someone who's seen as, like... Like, an authority figure. Like, in, uh... Well, I guess not in... Well I, guess, well, I guess it doesn't necessarily happen early on, but it eventually happens, but, like... Cause like, I remember in Thing Rival 1, Taka died, and he was sort of like the group leader. And then, in DR2, uh, Byakuya, or Tugami, I suppose, and Mahiru died early on, and they were kind of like the dad and mom of the group. And then, uh, yeah, and then, I guess this, hmm. Oh yeah, and then DR3, then Kaede died pretty early on too, and everyone saw her as a leader. Sort of. So, like, I'm just noticing how, like, everyone is saying, oh, how nice Wolfgang is. And, like, I'm like, uh, if everyone looks up to him, that's gonna be a real gut punch if he dies early on. And real subversive. And again, be, like, being subversive isn't always good. Like, I feel it. Like, again, like I said, I think killing him would be, like, too big of a subversion and, like, not, like, actually satisfying. So, I don't know if that's, like, good or not. Anyway, can I, can I inspect this? Yeah, I can. See what Damon has to say about it. At the base of the tree is a marble bust depicting a figure in a creepy mask. There are cracks all over the mask, and yet one of the eyes was even masking. How old must this thing be? Hmm. Anyway, uh, let's talk to uh, Mark and Jet. Or maybe they're just... I'm pretty sure they must be together because they're next to each other. Oh yeah, they're together. Come on, man. Just say something. Come on, please. Pretty please. He's dead inside. So harsh. All I wanted was your name. Hey. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, wait. <laughs> should I, like, cover my mouth with my chest voice? Of course. We should make him sound like, should I make him sound like a Bane? <laughs> I'm, I might, I'm gonna do that for, like, a second. I might not commit to it. Oh, it's for people. Hey there, Batman. It's for the going. You good? What's the matter with him? I don't know. I spent ages trying to get this guy's name, but... He won't say anything. Oh. It's simple. <laughs> I'm okay. I, I'm, I might stop that eventually because I'm, it, it's probably going to be like emotional scene involving Zed and it'll probably, fall, probably completely ruin it, but... I don't know. You know, we're about just ignore him. Who are you anyway? <laughs> Who am I? Whoa. Nice to meet you, shrimp. Cool voice. Anyway. Jets Dawson, Ultimate Drag Racer. Wait. Jets Dawson, Ultimate Drag Racer. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna like sometimes do the Bane voice. I won't do it all the time though. Drag racer. Given his outfit, that comes as no surprise. Oh yeah, I remember in his bio he said he got like injured or something, which is why I always wear is it. Anyway, Ava. Aren't you warm in that suit? Oh, here comes the explanation. <laughs> Are you confused? It's a fan inside the back of my helmet, and it's cool air. Kind of like the fans in car seats that cool your butt. Whoa. Isn't that super rad? He summoned a bunch of stuff. Wait, he yells every word. He can make anything sound like a big deal. Holy shit, they don't extend the rest of my suit. And stop wearing the suit. And walk around naked? I'm mean, wearing different clothes. Oh. You got Mark's attention? Should also have an ultimate talent, correct? Well. Would you mind sharing it? No, oh, good buddy. Sharing contest. My name's Mark Bursky. I produce music. Mark Bursky. Wait a minute, you did. So, a music producer? Yeah. Mark Bursky, ultimate music producer. Good minute, you did. Even if you are a bit shy. But, um, it's mostly bad remixes and stuff. Oh man, your music is wicked good! You know my songs? Nope. Haha, <laughs> I'm love jet. Oh, you wanna have to? You're the ultimate music producer. That's just about says it all. Yeah, he's right, dude. I assume you two all spoke up in this place, right? 
with any idea what may be going on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, I should do a papyrus thing. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna be able to take jet seriously at this rate. I should. I, I need to focus. I need to focus. I need to focus. Yeah, the whole shebang did come out of the blue, but to be honest, feels like an extreme haunt. Do you know what that is? Music stopped. No, I don't. We're talking about like the most dangerous game kind of thing. Figures. You don't look tight. Me name. Anyway, extreme haunts are really intense horror attractions. Think of a haunted house crossed with a survival horror game. Devil chucking on the ground tunnel system, trap you in coffins, anything scare you. I'm pretty good at coffins, not so much tunnels. What's that gotta do with us? See, there's a couple of places that are known for scaring. Starting their haunts with a simulated kidnapping. Yeah? Well, make it feel as real as possible, they'll even take you where you least expect it. Those real? That kind of sounds horrifying, jeez. The thing is, they can't just jump anybody. You gotta consent first. The hell? I never agree to being kidnapped. Extreme haunts, say. Eh? Hey, people know better than that than involve me in that crap. Well, maybe we consented to our kidnapping without realizing? But being accepted in the academy, maybe? Okay. Huh? For example, the letters we received in the academy. It's possible those invitations were actually consent forms in disguise. Uh, I, I feel like they can't do that. Like, I feel like the whole point of consent forms is that, like, they 100% state that what you, they, you can and cannot do, you know? What they can't do, or cannot, you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm bad at... Well, tell me, you actually believe this guy? Given what we've seen so far, I wager anything is possible. Is that really what's happening here? And accepting that letter or asking me to join Ian's Garden Academy that I'd unknowingly agree to this crap? Well, that's just a theory. We don't know what's going on until we explore some more. Oh, yeah, I got advice here. Oh, that's just a theory. Okay, a theory. <laughs> we don't know what's going on until we explore some more. But, man. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna do that every now and then. Anyway. I know some people who might be interested in your theory. They're gathering by the courtyard side. You can join them if you want. Adios. Adios. Sure thing. Let's go, Mark. Uh, well, Jeff's gonna look like he's gonna take Mark under his wing. That's good. Well, maybe, um, then again, it might be a bit too much for him, being around someone so extroverted. I understand the feeling. Maybe, maybe could, maybe he should hang around Wolfgang or something. Some more mild-mannered. They looked less than a few, so he let the Dragon Lace Racer take him by the arm and lead him away. Could it really be possible? If the letters we received actually consent forms in the skies? Is this kind of messed up attraction? What's that say about Ian's Garden Academy? Is it part of the charade? Is Garden Academy even real? Oh, the music's off. I should know better than to think nonsense like that. I mean, it's fake someone for already blown its cover. More likely, this is all happening unbeknownst to the Academy. Maybe. Uh, anyway. Well, except, well, the exception of Ulysses, he's there. Uh, I can inspect the tree. Maybe. If that's anything. The more I look at it, the more confused I am. I'm gonna get a headache, I better stop. Huh. Anyway, uh, you are the only one left, Cassidy. Cassidy. What's up? Oh, that's Supreme. Whoa. Well, that was. She immediately introduced herself. I was about to say, I think she's like. It's like Supreme Shirt, but like 1v1 on it. Anyway. I like her. Cassidy Ember, Ultimate Pro Gamer. Very enthusiastic. Shopping right into the introduction. I like it. Making good first impressions key to grabbing the attention of your viewers. Uh, she's a streamer, like me, except uh, uh, more popular, probably. Especially if I were 20 million of them. Got her in that watch time. That 20 million? Is gaming really that popular? Yeah. It's not just gaming, it's pro gaming. Yeah. Facing off against opponents from a large audience with prestige and prizes on the line, the stakes can't get any higher. While well, Tom's pretty frivolous, oi, her attitude towards video game competitions is somewhat impressive. Sort of like how I feel about debating. Mm-hmm, you can understand it. Oh, question. What is it? You guys know if this place has internet? Probably doesn't. 
<laughs> I promised my comrade that my streaming schedule wouldn't change after starting school. So I'm kind of freaking out for comrades, but Cassidy's comrades, they're the biggest fan community on the internet. She must mean her followers being a streamer and all. It doesn't make sense. Definitely explain the hat. Oh, is that like a Russian hat? Oh, I see. It must be very wealthy then. For that, popular streamers eat a lot of money, especially from subscriber donations. Uh, there are many stories about young men falling prey to the infamous tier in subscription, The Simps. Yeah. They are rendered forever unmarriageable. Such a shame. Oh, that's awesome. Though, how many suckers have you swindled? Such large fan base must be raking in the dough. Oh, Jesus Christ, that actually scared me a bit. What's wrong with your face? I see how it is. I see how that is. You think the only motivation is money, don't you? <laughs> well, tell if I also would be a streamer. I don't know how to pronounce Borg. That, whatever. Whoa. Stream for the betterment of the human race. So the leader of Cassidy's comrades, my duty to redistribute most of my earnings to the masses. Oh, I see. You mean you give away all your money? I do tons of expensive and generous stunts on my channel. Most of it's for charity, but sometimes for random subscribers. One time, I bought a spaghetti. Oh. One time, I bought a spaghetti factory and donated it to a public school. Oh, I mean, that's good and all, but that's very specific. Those kids will never have to pay for lunch again. Probably gotten sick of eating pasta every day, true. All those giveaways I stream too. They're really popular, so I get tons of views and donations from them. Impressive. You managed to commodify the act of charity. Of course, I got to reserve some money for basic necessities. Trickle of chocolate soda being one. But it's not a problem for a person like me to have money since I earn it from my own hard work. The three real problems of swine to make billions every year. Even though all they do is sit around, drink cocktails, and stare at the stock profile. Oh dear, I think Cassidy and Winona might have a bit of a rivalry. Oh dear. But that's how you pronounce it, bourgeoisies. In fact, I can even detect the rancid stench of a morally bankrupt billionaire in this very academy. Oh, yep, yeah, that, that's gonna happen. They're, oh, boy. Uh... You don't think that one of them might end up killing the other, don't you? Oh, dear. Or maybe, like, someone else will kill one of them. And then whoever didn't get killed will end up taking the blame for it. Interesting. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> okay. This is going to be interesting. That they're planning to profit off us suffering as we speak. This girl is honestly pretty deranged, though. That might be why she has such a lot of audience. Yeah, that makes sense. Regardless, I'll explain where someone in her was invited to Eden Garden Academy. As whereas I am a future confrontation between you and the more affluent students, I suggest you head over to the building I investigated. <laughs> Alright, I'm 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 kinda loving Toshiko now. She just like she, like subtly roasts everyone. Kinda love it. Then telling other people to gather there. Alright, nice meeting y'all. Well done. We have exchanged formalities with everyone here. We should keep me up with the others and formulate a plan of action. On our ultimate honor, ugh. on our honor, our ultimate school will not be confined any longer. What dramatic kid? Those should be gathered by courtyard outside. That's where I should head next. Sounds good, buddy bow. Oh, I can't move. Oh, okay, we just take tick there automatically. I'm assuming we just dragged Ulysses with us. The other eleven students we gather at the center of the courtyard, nervously discussing the situation. Any clue? Hey, Desmond. So, uh, any clue what's going on here? Being pranked 100%. Oh god, I have to switch between all these voices. That's gonna be tough. <clears throat> it would be a really elaborate prank. Some people have the money for it. Whatever it is, I'm killing the prick who's responsible. Surprisingly, that doesn't seem to be getting anywhere. Anthony Ulysses? This is off talk, but I don't believe I asked your name, loud woman in the visor. It's Grace, you wanker. And your surname, please. Madison! Grace Madison, the ultimate golfer! H how do you know that? You said it in the dining hall, remember? I don't recall you being there for introductions. Maybe she was eavesdropping? Eavesdropping? I would never! 
I simply happened to overhear a conversation. That is all. No, there were shoes he's dropping. Yeah. If we could take a step back for a second. What was this about, dining hall? Correct. It's inside the building over there. Is there a kitchen too? We got her. Anything locale? I'm starving. Be patient, will you? Introductions are still underway. Okay, but you have to speed run them. Oh, Cassie, I like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Called it. I totally called it. Ha! <laughs> Gaming references from someone else. The universe have been thrown out of balance. Ahem. <clears throat> Along with Grace Madison, we have the mighty and prestigious Wolfgang Akire. He is well known as the ultimate lawyer. Yes, that's correct. Oh, hey, hey, lawyer man. Lawyer man. Lawyer man. Is that your name for me? Yep. It's either that or Wolfie. Do you like Wolfie more? I must Stay with what you already have. <laughs> A lawyer? Oh, it's so nice to meet you. Next up, we have... Um... So she goes, turn up and squint at me. She forgot your name, Damon. <laughs> His name seems to be escaping me. Perhaps you may know Wolfgang Grace? I'm not too... I have no idea. Wait, did we know... Like, if I know his name... Did we... Wait, did we not know... Okay, either they, like, forgot or, like, Damon never got around to telling him his name because he's bad with people. You told me, I'm pretty sure. It's Mark, right? That's Mark. That's Mark. <laughs> My bad. I got a hat mixing these sort of guys together. Why? Right, what are you waiting for? Tell us your name already. <coughs> Bayman Maitsu. Ultimate debater. A debater? A debater? Ooh. Ooh, so like a bargain bin lawyer. Okay. That's... Grace Madison, Wolfgang Akira, Bayman Matsu. Who else is left? Oh, Ava. Oh, wait a second. Ava never introduced herself. Not even like me. Oh no, she, she did. I forgot. I forgot. She she introduced herself to me. Never mind. I'm, I'm done. Hiya. Come on, darling. You can do it. See? Yes, sure. Name. Ava. Oof. Just Ava. Hey, you're just called Winona. Don't talk. <laughs> just like my video <gasps> games. Like the spy. Ava Tsunaka. Mm -hmm. That's a very pretty name. Aw. Really mm. elegant, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, let's not get off topic. What's your talent, Ava? Oh, I know what it is. That you she's mentioned. It. I'm pretty sure you never told me your talent. What's up with that? I told you mine. It's only fair. I told me yours. Oh, um, tell it. Tell it. Hmm. Ultimate liar. Dun dun dun. Ava Tsunaka, ultimate liar. Ultimate liar? <laughs> That's so funny. So, like, what's your actual talent? That's it. Uh, what? Good to know. I didn't know a line was something you could be the best at. You learn something new every day. Are you for real? You actually believe her? How was someone supposed to make a career of lying? Now, now. Easy. Get a job in marketing. <laughs> it's the truth. Just what I am. How can that be? That's supposed to be our explanation. That's... I mean, if you're the best at lying, how am I supposed to believe anything you say? For the last few words, we all turn to Ava expectantly. That was when it happened. Ding dong bing bong. It's starting. Testing, testing. Oh. One, two, three. He's coming. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Yes? Great. Awesome. <laughs> Good morning, my amicable student friends. Oh. Creepy theme explain. Fractured mind of the viceroy. First off, allow me to apologize. I realized the ride here was a bumpy one, especially for ultimates such as yourselves. But expect things to be different within these halls. Yes, it is my pleasure and privilege to welcome you all to Eden's Garden Academy. School is behind us, this isn't what Damon said. It wasn't hijacked. You just say we're at Eden's Garden Academy? It can't be. No kidding, the place looks like nothing like a school. Stop talking so loud. Talking so loud, I wanna hear this. Yeah, I, I'm not good with people talking loud either. I can I can agree with I know not on this one. I'm sure you're on the edge of your seats waiting for a proper orientation. But there's one more thing we need to do before we meet face to face. It won't take very long. All I ask is that you enter the building across from me. 
or the speaker, unless I am the speaker, in which case, yes, go below me. From there, we can begin preparations for a formal introduction. Until then, farewell. Click. I must take note of this. That was certainly interesting. Whack. Agree more. Whack. Somebody explain. Do you think he's the person that brought us here? Yo, what if he said the sleeping gas on a train? In that travel bag? How do you reckon he snuck it on? Guys. Sorry to interrupt, but we're not going to get the part he said about the building, are we? Yeah. Let's go inside. What do you think? Should we? Hell no! Hell no! I'm not waltzing right in there. It doesn't mean to die or something. To die? Think we're going to be harmed? Yeah. If our captives wanted to kill us, we'd already be dead. What would be the point of killing us now? Reactions, I guess? I don't know. I'm not a psychopath. It calls for what if we walk in together as one big group? You know, if someone's looking out for you, things can be a lot less scary. Good. Ingrid's a mom. Oh, she's got a point. We'll wake and progress if we face the problem head on. You send them done, soybean. I suppose that makes sense, but isn't it too naive? <laughs> Something wrong with a bit of optimism from time to time. Let's just try it, okay? Alright. Gather around the entrance. Not us willing to be the first to walk through. Eventually, unless enough willpower to push the doors open. And we all died. <laughs> uh, imagine. Hello. Hello. Is it loading? Uh, wait, is someone dead? Uh? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, okay. In front of me lay the battered, bloody body of a young woman. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, poor Toshiko. <laughs> oh, I must bring it out. Oh, is that girl dead? Oh, why is there a dead body? What happened? Is this another student? You can see her on the train, though. Shit, where's the shit? Um, um I help people. You're in this building before. Tell us what's going on. Yeah, why didn't you mention this other girl? Oh, we're in the place that we're in the place where we woke up. We she must be ah uh, this must be happened recently. I never even saw her. Huh? We're there too, bargain then? Don't you <coughs> Or below us, that's where I woke up. You miss a whole ass person? Yeah right. Saw her, you must have seen her. Come on, just admit it. Stop pressing me for an answer, you. I can collaborate, Damon's story. It was never a body. Miss Madison and I walked to this exact hallway and saw nothing. I, I so, this. so, between the time you left and the time you returned, this girl was murdered? I think she was murdered? Well, I don't know for sure, but what happened to her? Does that really look self inflicted? Oh, There's a killer running loose. Oh, jeez. Um, but I don't recall hearing anything while I was waiting outside. This man can back me up, right? Oh, good thing that this man was waiting there. That been real, looked really bad for Eloise. She's right. The no screams. And no one left No one left the building. So the killer's still inside? Okay, Jet, calm down. It's cool as a cucumber. What's up? More panic shouts filled the corridor. Ava silently walked over to the body. Wait, what are you doing? Ignoring Grace's question, she crouched down beside the dead girl and poked her in the face. What the uh, you? What's wrong with you? Stop that! Not real? Eh? Uh? It's a fake dead body, but. I... Girl? Um... It's just a dummy. Why is this song called Y2K? Okay, whatever. She's just a dummy. A dummy? No, oh, that's definitely a real body. Did you just say you're a liar? Why should we believe you? If you don't believe me, inspect it yourself. <laughs> John gonna do it? No one else is offering. I can do it. Wait, him? Well, how's that song to everyone? Turn to look at each of us. I have my reservations, but when he gave them at mine, my lips instantly sealed shut. Look, he gave me. It was unexpectedly intense. Yeah, we can trust this dude. 
Yes, you can do it. Pirate. He just said he wasn't pirate. Pirate, pirate cautiously approached the body and knelt beside it. Then, just like Ava. I'll be damned. Look at that. She's right. It is a dummy. For real? For real? How did you know it's fake? Mountain Ocean. Also, of course, would smell. This doesn't smell. Dude, no. As if! Could it be any more suspect? That ain't it. Not just that. Something under the dummy. Huh? What's that? A tablet. John rose from the ground and turned around to face us. It's the... Well, it's not gonna be called that, but the Monokuma file. Sure enough, he's holding a tablet. Slid on a dummy. There's no blood on it as far as I can tell. Nice hiding place. Really, would have noticed that I'm taking a closer look. Give some pressure on what I'm supposed to, do, don't it? Hey, what's on the tablet? Let me turn it on. Press the button, walked over, held the tablet out for us to see. Ooh, it's loading something! After a few seconds, the loading symbol vanished. In its place was a photo of the girl. Hera Koskinen, Ultimate Teacher's Aid. So, yeah, this is like the Monokuma pile. Height 5'6, 120 pounds, female, 18 years old. Well, I guess, I guess I'm about to feel, I was about to say a, a poor girl, but like, she's a dummy. Or maybe she was real, and that's like a dummy of her. Oh god, that's. Oh, I don't like to think about that. What is this? Oh, the tablet hat finished loading. That's how that image. It scrolled over. Because she stabbed. 28 times in her torso and died. Wait, is that? Hold on. Okay, I'm. I'm not gonna say anything just in case I'm wrong. But hold on, I'm looking this up. Hold on, one second. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> 28 stab wounds from Detroit become human. Touche, guys. Touche. She stabbed 28 stab wounds in the torso and died from blood loss. Okay, that's actually horrifying. Actually, but, uh... Did them also suffer from chemical burns to the head? Multiple burns to her eyes and scalp. Time of death is unknown. The victim is Kara Koskin, the ultimate teacher's aide. She stabbed in torso 28 times. The victim is also suffered with chemical burns at head, the most notable burns at eyes and scalp. How's death of blood loss? Time of death is unknown. It's like a body report. Yeah, it is. It is, literally. First, a dead body that's revealed to be a dummy. Now, a body report? What the hell's going on? So, I guess this is like a practice class trial? I actually like that. That's good. Get the. Get, also, that way. Ah. Uh. Get to like experience a class trial with like everyone in it. That's actually awesome. Thing Rampa didn't like do that. There's always like at least one person gone. What the hell is going on? Oh, uh, I almost said his name. I'm I'm not gonna say his name for suspension or a dramatic. Jeez, took you long enough to find that tablet. <clears throat> long ago, no, long long ago, a heinous murder was committed. Not that long ago. The victims just so happen to be an ultimate, much like yourselves. What? Or it was a perfect reconstruction of a crime scene, as well as an effigy of the victim with the appropriate injuries. Oh, this is like a reconstruction of that murder? I see. Oh, okay. I guess that's what he's saying. Oh, I guess that means that girl was real. Oh, never mind. Now I don't feel bad again. It's quite emotionally draining to craft that dummy. It's a strong reminder of what we was lost. She was such a nice girl. So much potential lost to violence. What's this man playing at? Anyway, it's your responsibility to figure out the details of her death. The surrounding area, the murder weapon, how she reacted in her final moments, etc. Oh, but don't worry about finding the murderer's identity. He's already right in front of you. See that gray man on the tablet screen? Yep, that's your guy. Please investigate the crime scene and gather as much clues as you can. After a certain period of time, you will ask to present your findings to me. Believe me, it's in your best interest to put your full effort into this. Have fun, everyone. Okay. Investigation? What the hell? Fuck, I know this already. I don't want any part in this. Stop telling me what to do. Grace grabbed a large chunk of rock from the floor and ran over to the speaker. But rock. Screeching out in obscenity, she put her hand as far back as she could. Oh, jeez. No way, was that the watch? Trying to destroy private property? That's his app. 
Okay. Is he for real? Is someone really trying to make us solve an old murder? Hold on, you guys. Can't just believe everything that stranger man claims. Why would Innsgarden Academy, or any academy for that matter, do something like this? It was, even if it tried to, the ultimate talent program would have stopped them. When underestimate the school board executives. Money can get to people's heads and make them take risks they shouldn't. This academy is that it's unique. Maybe it's their version of an entrance exam. What a joke. They're so obsessed with being different from the competition, they've forgotten what the people want. Mm. Well, like they've forgotten how to be sane. Yeah, for real. Would the UTP really be okay with this? this Seems pretty counterintuitive. Everyone wants to quit their enrollment after this. Uh, and, and Sue, yeah. If this is a work of a separate group, why are they using the Academy's name? As a way to hide their own, maybe? Yeah, I was just about to say. Maybe even Ken, that's just because we're attending Eden's Garden Academy. Like, well, well, what if they knew we all had to board a train? We'll explain why we passed out. They boarded the train before us and planted the bag with the gas. Because this happened on the train in the Academy, they could claim they are the Academy. Does that make sense? Everyone keeps saying they. Isn't the speaker man who isn't that the speaker man who kidnapped us? Well, it would have taken more than one pe person to do this. It obviously, just not just him. Yeah, dude. Is he on a train, bring sixteen people to the unknown location. It takes a team to do. Maybe he was just like really fast, just like fuh, 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 went to all the different places at once. Of course, that raises another glaring question: Why us? Why have we been brought into this? Why have we been brought into this? Is it because we're ultimates? Like no one's specialty is detective work. <laughs> this doesn't add up. Well, I mean, uh, Wolfgang's a lawyer. That's, well, it's not the same thing, obviously, but I guess it's relatively close. What's up, Toshi? You've been kind of acting weird, Toshiko. Like, I don't know if you're, like, secretly, like, the mastermind or anything. I don't, I don't think you're in that. I don't know if you're, like, the mastermind or anything, but, like, I don't know. I think... I'll let the rest of you handle this. I'm down any in this grotesque situation. I'll just be on my way. Hmm. Yeah, that's okay. What? <laughs> Actually, can I come with? I feel super bad leaving you alone. Oh. Sure, um, sure I suppose. You can do it. Good luck solving this for everyone. I know you can do it. Yeah, Toshiko, you're really acting really weird. Like, I don't know if I can trust you. Like, I don't want you to be evil or whatever, but... Uh. Uh, anyway, on that note, Diana and Toshiko walked away in the direction of the room with Ketchum. Huh. Can they say? Uh, I'm going for this. Screw this. Kai took off down the hallway like his life depended on it. She's better than us. I don't know. I don't know about this. Will that man really let us go if we investigate? We won't know if you continue standing around like this. For now, all we can do is take the risk and do as he says. Right. He had braced myself and followed the direction I had been given. As of now, it's my only way to learn more information about my current situation. I can only hope this ordeal will be over soon. Investigation? Investigation start! Yeah! Or anything else. She probably. Ooh. Warm body. This is investigation music. Oh, and the text boxes are different too. They're bloodied with pink blood. Before I do anything else, I should cover that tablet. There we go. Victim is Kara Toskina, the ultimate teacher's aide. She used tabs and torso 28 times. Uh, victim also suffered chemical burns to the head, the most notable burns into her eyes and scalp. Cause of death is blood loss, time of death is unknown. There's a lot going on here. Chemical burns with the addition of 20, 28 stab wounds? Jesus, I don't want to believe anything the speaker guy says, but this murder is based on true events. And that killer is totally sick in the head. No kidding. Like, memes aside, like... 28 stab wounds, like, that's a lot. Also, like, chemical burns? Like, how's that a factor? Weird. Tablet has been... Tooth bullet, nice. Tablet has been added to the tooth bullet section of your try Drink it. That's to get in stuff and bang a rumba again. Oh, this is so exciting. Uh, well, actually, I want to do that later because I've been streaming for over two hours now and I kind of want to stop, so... One. Oh. Tooth bullets. Okay, yep. Yeah. Save, please.
Eight here. Oh, this music's good. Anyway, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna exit here, main menu. So yeah, uh, that was the, I guess, daily life. I don't know if that's really counts as daily life since we didn't get a hangout or anything, but that was the beginning of Project Eden's Garden. This was really, really good so far. Like, I've seen the people, a ton of people say this already, but, like, this feels like a proper dang rap again. Like, like, I, people were saying that even, like, in the reveal trailer, and, like, that's held up. It's good. Like, the writing's good, the characters are good, and both, like, design and personality. The writing's pretty good so far. The backgrounds, like, the locations, the UI, the music. Like, I don't... Like, the only criticism I have is that, like, the characters, like, disappear too quickly when walking away, I guess. Like, in Nang Rapa, they, like, linger for just, like, a second or two before disappearing, but, like, in here they, like, disappear instantly. Well, not instantly, but they start disappearing instantly. But, like, that's it, really. Other than that, it's been, like, pretty much perfect, honestly. But, yeah. As in the garden, I'm gonna play this more, obviously, if you wanna finish it. But, uh, yeah. That's it then. Goodbye.